そう。はい、ないね。なんだ。Oh, it's it's black. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. I was so scared for a second. I was like, Oh no! Don't tell me I had technical issues already. All right. Hello. Welcome, everyone. All right. We are going to go further in Trials Runs. I believe we're on the last day. Let me double check. We should be on the last day, and I believe this is. We got missing. Let me check. I have a guide with me. Um, it's called racing. Oh wait, no, we are not on the last day. What? We are on the second day. Oh snap! All right. Yeah, there's a there's a lot going on here. <laughs> we will see if we can finish chapter two though. How's it going? It's going great. Yeah, things have been going very good as of late. Been doing some projects um, behind the scenes. So I was very, I'm very excited when it gets done. I don't think I'll be able to post it on chat, but I will try to post it on uh, the Discord and community post it on YouTube. I don't know how I'm going to show it on Twitch though, but uh, keep an eye out. I will also try to post it on Twitter as well. But it's probably gonna be done around June. That's good. Hope the projects are doing good. Yeah! Yeah, well, it's gonna be a- it's a big project. <laughs> but it's with, uh... To be honest, I don't know some of these people, but I do know, like, I have some friends that are in it. But it's- it's exciting. Alright, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing right now? What should I do first? Um... So we have... Oh, these are reported? Wait. What? Wait. Huh? Check requests. Oh, there it is. So we gotta go on... Um... Dawnapt? Wait, this is the third day! Ah, <gasps> Yes! Dawnapt is, um... The third day one. Okay, we are on the 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 final day of chapter two. All right, you needed an ID card from the front desk to access the 16th floor. So we gotta go to the IBC and go to the front desk. Okay. Let's go. Wait, what are you doing here? Grr. So this is where you were, Zeet. It would seem that he has escorted Kea to the library. He has really gotten comfortable with roaming the streets these days, hasn't he? Hmm, let's let's visit Kea real quick. Where's Kea? Kea, where are you? The final day always feels like three days though. Really? Oh man. Well, I'm gonna try to see if I could beat the third day. Ah, here we go. And got it. Looking for something in particular, Kea? Oh, hey guys. Yeah, I've been gathering up all these books with folktales in them. I finished reading one and now I can't get enough. Hmm, let's see here. Crossbell through the Middle Ages and Crossbelling in Ruins. Learning from the past. Wait, these aren't folk tales. They're straight up history books. 
Your, re your reading level is a remarkable, Kea. I'll say. Ever th thinking about becoming a researcher when you grow up, Kato? You th really think I can do it? Okay. Mom Erebonia and Dad Vard, how about you let your little Kea Bell have the, her an automity? Automi- Automity? What's this? That little girl was looking for a book, so I helped her out. I gotta say, though, it's wonderful to see someone so young take an interest in history. As a student in the field myself, I couldn't be happier about it. Aww. It's cool that we got a little cutscene out of that. Alright, let's go... What is this? Oh, what's happening here? Seriously, you can't just spring these restrictions onto us out of nowhere. Wait, so why exactly we're not allowed to go to Orcus Tower? Can we just at least visit the plaza out front? What's happening? Oh, oh, I'm so terribly sorry. I believe we were already sent out notices regarding this. But for security reasons and for general public, isn't allowed to go near the tower right now. I understand your frustration, but as Miss Shion has stated, security is our main concern. I don't think there's anyone up here. Wait, can I actually go into these rooms? Sometimes I can o open them. I think I went a little- What is happening here? What? Wait, I could just go to straight up to Orchid's Tower. Oh boy. I don't think I was supposed to come here yet. Yeah, I was not supposed to go here yet. <laughs><笑>気持ちはわかるよ。まさにクロスベルの新しいランドマークって感じですよね。しかし、こんなでかいビル。<laughs> いったい何に使うってんだ。前の視聴者に比べてでかすぎるんじゃねえか。まあ、色々な機能が盛り込まれているビルだから、市や自治州の行政区画以外にも国際貿易センターや文化交流に関するフロアもあるの。まさに大
Of course, we're here to- we're glad to help. You can hear just fine? Perfect, yay! We can never refuse a good conscience, knowing how much Mary Bell has done for us. I see. Well, on behalf of Miss Cross, you have my gratitude. Now, first things first, I'm going to have to issue you this card. And what's this? It's an authorization pass for the IBC. We just had one like it before. Using it grants us clearance to specific floors of the building from the elevator. In other words, it's part of the security system. This isn't the largest bank on the continent for nothing. That card will show you- will allow you to enter the same floors as the one you were given in the spring. Miss Cross is waiting for you in the CEO's office in the 16th floor, so if you could please make your way up there. We will. Thank you, Lanfei. Alright, let's go to the 16th floor! Alright, so I'm guessing there's nothing here. Alright, so it's not gonna show there, but yeah, her dolls are definitely missing. Belle? It's me. Ah, oh, come right in. Thank you very much. It's good to see you again, Belle. Hello, Ellie. Special support section. I heard you returned to town last night, Tio. How's it been? Fine, thank you. Glad to hear it. I understand that you've been a busy day ahead. With what the trade conference has this morning, best of luck to you. Thanks. We'll do what we can. I take it that you're not planning to be at the Orcus Tower yourself, then? That's right. As my father's stand-in, I can't really well abandon this pile of work he left behind in the bank. He'll be on his own when it comes to handling his conference duties. And on that note, I think I owe you all an apology. Perhaps it was ill-conceived of me to call you in such a short notice, especially on the top of your other obligations. Don't worry about it, Mary Bell. You've helped the SSL as so much. This is the least we could do to pay you back. So, someone swiped a few of those antique dolls you've got, right? Mind giving us the lowdown? Of course. As you may know, I've been an avid collector of Rosenberg dolls for years. I've been keeping five of them here in the personal room of the IBC. However, someone took the opportunity to steal them last night while I was away on business. Five dolls. Every one of them is a Rosenberg. Th they must be worth a fortune! The larger ones would fetch at least a few million more at auction. This goes far deeper than monetary loss. I'm a mother who thought whose precious little darlings have been kidnapped. And I want that despicable crook torn limb from limb from the middle of the Harbor District for it. Easy now, Maria Bell. By personal room, you mean by the one next door, correct? That would mean the thief slipped past the IBC's world-class security. How is this even possible? Ahem. <clears throat> Yes, uh, I thought that was rather peculiar myself at first, but once I found out that I was left at the crime scene, whatever confusion I had was immediately dispelled. How so? I think it would be faster to simply show you. Take a look at this. Wait, what is this? A calling card from Phantom Thief B? Indeed, an elusive fl fl filcher. Oh, I read that Fletcher was filcher who's stolen countless works of art from all over the continent. Rumor has it that a mysterious magic is to perform his heist and he always leaves his calling card at the scene of the crime. Infiltrating the IBC is a feat only that he could pull off. From what I can hear, you all are a case involved with him earlier this year, isn't that right? Y you did? Indeed, last time he stole a statue from the former city hall building. In the end, we failed to apprehend him. And now he's back for round two. Sounds like you two, uh, you four got all kinds of crazy hijinks before we joined, huh? So, what does the card say? Allow me. Dear ladies and gentlemen of the special support section, the little ladies whom the young madam adores are in my compassionate Wouldn't you? Wouldn't ya? Hi, dear. Should you seek freedom, throw open your uh, each of the cages, five in all with the cage keys of truth. The first cage lies within the city. Search the throne of the c Constabulary's famed scrutineer. So, do you understand why I had no choice but to call you all three here? All of you here? Yeah, this is a direct challenge from the Phantom Thief B to SSS. 
which means we're the only ones who are able to handle this. You really stole five priceless dolls for something this petty? This guy's a nut job among nut jobs. Whatever his reasons are, he didn't have to involve Maria Bell. We ain't gonna let this one go. I wholeheartedly agree. Those Rosenberg dolls mean the world to you, Belle. Thank you, Ellie. I leave the rest of your capable hands. Phantom Thief B returns! Yeah! Okay, before we start the investigation, I want to go over this calling card again. First, the little lady's part. Obviously, that's referring to the dolls themselves. As for the five cages, that must indicate that there are five separate locations, each hiding a single doll. So, what you're saying is that we have to search for them one by one? I'm already dreading how much of a pain this will be. Well, we can limit the first cage to within the city. Apparently, this is the throne of the Constability's famed scrutineer. That clue is the... F Ugh. That clue is the key to our first doll. Anyone else have an idea where it's pointing? Scrutineer. Oh, I feel that I've heard something like that along those lines not too long ago. Oh, no sense overthinking it. Let's go back to whatever check spots that come in mind. I'm expecting great things yet again, special support section. Find my beloved little ones. Bring them back home to me, won't you? Of course. We won't let you down, Maria Bell. Uh -huh. I'll keep the clue from the card on the detective notebook for good measure. We can use a foundation to build our investigation off of it. Do you know where it is? No. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't even know what the word scrutiny means. <laughs> uh, okay, let's check. Where is it? Oh, it's down lower. Donna. Uh, the famed scrutineer. Scrutineer. I don't know what the word screen means. Alright. Uh, screen here. Is it a scavenger? Is that what it means? Huh. Fisherman's not here today. Uh, screen here. Do you know const- No, I do not what that means. <laughs> Constant- Con uh, constable? Does it mean stable? These, these words are a little advanced. Uh, back issues across what time sits on the shelves. Over a three month period of the Hundred Years War, the journalist has committed delivering war coverage with the utmost honesty and sense of justice. Dictionary. A peace officer with limited policing authority, typically in a small town. I don't know what that means. Uh. A peace officer. So, does that mean I have to go to the police station? Okay, if I can't figure it out for myself, I'm just gonna look at the guide. Screw me. Peace officer. So... Uh... Oh, who's this? Well, if it's it isn't my favorite little guy. If it isn't my favorite little guy. Oh, and Tio too. It's been a while since I saw that cute face of yours. Indeed, it has. So, I guess that means the SSS game is back together again, hmm? My, oh, you've all grown from the rookie little underdogs I first met. Don't think I'm going to let the SSS outshine Ark and Cell now, though. I'm flattered you even consider us even as competition. Dang, Ilya. We sure are fired up today. But of course, this is the upcoming performance for our last until it's time to debut our revival production. 
which makes a culmination of everything we made this year. Naturally, I want it to be our best show yet. It's a shame Rixie is not going to be here today, though. Oh? She's not? She hasn't been doing it as much anymore, but she's... But she used to wait until the last minute to tell me when she needed time off. I always wondered when... If she was off having a secret rendezvous with a guy or something. If that's the case, she better not think about going and letting her slip away so easily. Grabby hands. <gasps> Ellie and Rixia see, need to start having some sort of support group already. Poor Ellie. Well, Rixia or not, we're going to have to practice our tushies off today. And that's a promise. I hear you all have a, f uh, a full plate as well. Good luck to you, little guy. Thanks, Ilya. All right, let's let's go to the SSX. Uh, where would it be? Didn't we hear that Chief Sergey's old nickname was Sergey the Scrutinish? Oh, would that make that would that make his desk and chair the throne of the frame scrutineer? It's worth a shot. Let's look around. There's something under his desk. Let's try taking it out. What the? Is that a trunk? It reminds me of the one Kea was in when we found her in Schwartz Auction. I bet him choosing this place as the first location was just an extra taunt for good measure. It, yeah. He even used his chief's old nickname. This guy's clearly got our number. Anyway, let's go check it out. Oh! A card is asphyxiated on the backside of the trunk. The second cage lies outside the city. Search the Harvester's Heritage, found on the off Ramshackle Road. Ah, I have a feeling where that one is. That was probably, um, arm something. What is it? What is it? It was like arm, arm something road. Armoroka, yeah, Armoroka. There's no mistaking it. This is a genuine Rosenberg doll. Yeah, I've seen one before. Its name's Can Canon. I believe Belle loved this one dearly. She names her dolls? Even Maria Belle has a sweet side, doesn't she? I'm a little surprised anyone would bother putting something they'd stolen in a trunk like this, though. Phantom Thieves B is supposed to have some kind of deep appreciation for beauty, right? Maybe this is his way of showing respect. As this is the second card of his, it sounds like we're gonna have to venture out to the city's limits this time. <sighs> we're gonna have to be running around this whole darn state at this rate. Our hint says our harvester's heritage in off Ramshackle Road. The wording comes to mind rustic and old-fashioned, the polar opposite of a modern place like R Crossbell City. That sounds about right. What do you think we take this first dolly with us and go searching for the second? Yes, let's go. Wait, let's go get our car. Yes. Find the car, and we're gonna go to America. I know that there was uh, something like near ancient so, battlefield we could go to too. Yes. Oh, what's this? I just got back from the village property a ways down from Amaroka Road. We store farming tools and supplies there. We can't just let folks wander in all willy-nilly. It's nothing to worry about, though. This place is locked up tight for most of the time. Most of the time. Is it open this time? Let's see. I- oops. <laughs> really, this is really normal to cut these guys. We are so strong now. All right, it should. Aha! It is open. Wait, this is not the farm. Hmm. It's a farm. Oh! Where is the farm? 
Food beast. What, what was that? Oh, it was just this. Red flies. Nice. Uh, did we ever get this? Yeah, we did. I'm like looking at the map right now, trying to. Wait! Where's the farm? Is the farm gone now? Oh. Farm does not exist anymore. Yeah, there used to be a farm here. Yeah, I think they've removed it. Almost there? Yeah, we are in Amaroka right now. Um, hmm. So if we were to... Maybe it's in the storage. Right here. There's usually a person here, but I guess not. Um, hmm. Where is it? I might have to look at the exact location because I know what town it is. I just don't know where it would be. And I was thinking it was going to be in the farm, but they removed the farm. The farm's not there anymore. It's not going to be in a random house. I don't think so. And it's not going to be in an inn. Where would it be? Nah, I meant that you were almost in the place before you turned around. No, it was all- Wait, is it farther down? I thought the- the location was, um, what is it? Can I actually just go yes. use my car to go to the midpoint? Let's go! Yeah, here's Old Amaroka Road. Oh, is this the place? That's the place I was looking for. Oh. Going northwest from the fast travel is faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gate is open? As I recall, this property is owned by Amaroka Village and isn't normally open to the public. Yeah, this is where I thought it was. Perhaps they left it unlocked? Surely not on purpose, right? Either way, let's check it out. They've got monsters roaming around here again. Watch your step before looking around. Aye aye, Captain. Oh no, not those things! I hate those things! Alright, um, hmm. Let's do a hydro cannon. Dark matter. It's a center. You are going to get sucked. Oh no. Please. It didn't even get sucked. This is such a shame. Oh no, they explode. Oh no, they don't even get- they don't have pushback! Okay, hopefully no one's gonna die soon. Oh god. Oh, they are nasty. Septium Bane. Oh no! Oh no! Yo, these things! These are the worst things to fight. That is why I hate fighting these things. They confuse you! No, they are tanky as heck! Oh no, he's out. Uh... Oh god. Thank you! We got MP again. Oh god. Uh, so far I think with HP we're doing okay at least. Oh, thank goodness. 
Did you hear about the time Phantom Thief B broke into Arkansas? I'm told he stole the spotlight. The handstanding skunk anteaters. <laughs> they are terrified. They have confusion. Oh god. Let me go here. Great! Right after I finally got my new stock from Mr. Hayworth, too. <laughs> wow, Mr. Hayworth goes all the way out here. Oh god. Uh, here? The second trunk was here of all places. Search the harvester's heritage, found off the ramshackle road. As I recall, this property has been used by Amaroka Village as a storehouse for generation after generation. So it must have been Phantom Thief B who opened the gate without permission. <gasps> can we go anywhere without stirring up trouble? We can't go anywhere without stirring up trouble, can he? Anyway, let's go take a look. A car affixated a card is affixated to the back side of the trunk. Third's uh, cage lies outside the city, from where one stands from their bag, bathed in the goddess's shining visage. What is that? Outside the city... Oh, it's a church! Find when one stands with their back. Oh! <gasps> Is that the graveyard? Oh, I think it's the graveyard. Where one stands on their back, which means like the where the corpses lay, I think. Bathed on the goddess's shining visage. So I'm guessing when it says stands on their back is the gravestone that's on top of the corpse's back, pretty much, I'm guessing. Bell calls this doll uh, light. I can never mistake it. And we got another one of those cookie riddle cards too. The shining, the goddess of shining visage. That might be our best hint here. The bathing part is telling us, well, may mean that the visage is exceptionally large. Let's take a look around then. There has to be some place that fits the bill. Yeah, it says it's outside of the city, so it's probably talking about the church. Wait, did I collect everything? Yeah, I did. Get away from me! Oh, it's down here. Oh! Alright. Oh, you have the defense up for us. I guess it'll help us not get exploded on. <laughs> Alright, let's leave. Oh yeah, I want to check out Septi and Vane. I think... Who has Earth? So you could probably... Um, get Septi and Vane. Increases all Septi types dropped by enemies by 1 by N to 2. Um... Okay, so you got 11 now. I think you needed... You needed that glue cords, didn't you? Ah! What is this? Effort? Huh. Alright, if she has the... Gaia tightness, yep. So if I take it off, she will have... Will she get Gaia Tightness still? Oh yeah, she does. Okay. It doesn't affect her. Alright. Um, but the problem is, is that she didn't gain no new skills from that. Oops. List. Earth. Oops, I'm, I passed that. Earth, where are you? Alright, um... Oh, Yikju still asks for... Four water and four wind. That's gonna be hard to get. Getting twelve... Twelve earth. We only got eleven on her. Hmm. Tricky. Alright, we're gonna go back to the car. Oh, 
Okay, I thought I was gonna be able to quit till that sooner. Here we go. Finish it. Here we go. Seven color beans. Where's the the card? Yes. So next place we gotta go to is here. Wait, did I go the wrong way? I did go the wrong way. Uh, I think we have to go to the north. Yeah, we go to the north. A lot of big spells are late game with where master cords are more leveled. Oh, I see. Oh, someone's car is here. So yeah, I'm guessing it's here. I'm gonna check the here first. And it, no cutscene appeared. Yeah, there's nothing over here. What's happening here? You were the special support section that visited us aboard the RCL yesterday, yes? Her Highness, Princess Claudia and Senior Captain Shores are further ahead. Feel free to pass through here and speak to them if you like. I'm sure you know, Julia. But we have an old friend who was appointed to the cathedral not too long ago. Yes, inquired that of the other sisters. It seems she's teaching a class outside the cathedral today. No, is that right? I would have liked the opportunity to see her today. We still owe her a debt that, that would help her back then. Princess Claudia. And she- and Senior Captain Schwartz, too! Oh. There they are. Hello, everyone. We meet again. Julie and I have been expecting you. But pardon? How did you know we were coming? Those through Seek. We were monitoring our surroundings from up in the sky. He alerted us at your arrival at the cathedral just now. You mean the White Falcon we met yesterday? Wow, he really is amazing. Seek is an established informant of the Royal Guard, after all. But enough of that. What brings you all here today? Oh, and you even have a new face with you. Tio Plateau, pleased to meet you. I returned to the SSS last night. It is an honor. The honor is all mine. Honestly, we were just doing our rounds, no reason for stopping by or anything. It is a twist of fate running into your highness and a senior captain again so soon. Are you here to pay your respects? That's right. The cemetery is the final resting place for generations of those who have lost their lives in Crossbell. We wanted to come here to, s to see them before today's conference. Not just to honor their memory. Pressing F, I see. <laughs> F to remain in the memory. Pay re our respects. But to come to terms with the true cause of repercussions of the crossbow problem, the crossbow problem, the phrase is used to describe Erebonia and Calvard's feud over them as a right, rightful ownership of crossbow, correct? Yes, although it's hardly a phase you'd hear crossbellians use themselves. The conflict was given rise to decades of tension, placing the two at the brink of war, with crossbow right in between them. The signing of the Non-Aggression Pact in Liberal two years ago only calmed things down on the surface, but major powers both still. Oh, my apologies, your highness. I didn't mean to sound so rude. No, everything you said is the truth, Ellie. The purpose of Grandmother's, um, Queen Alicia's Non-Aggression Pact was to prevent the Empire and Republic from resorting to military force. That allowed Crossbow to breathe a sigh of relief. The threat of war finally d dissipated. But in its place came unseen political pressure from two major powers. Pressure that has greatly affected the Crossbell state of government. Because of that, it's far too naive to claim to claim the non-aggression pact solved the Crossbell problem. It merely shifted the field of battle. Your Highness. B but that doesn't mean the non-aggression pact has been meaningless. The Empire and Republic are still performing large-scale military exercises at our borders when I enlisted in the CGF. And I'll never be able to forget the terror of those having Imperial Highways guns pointed at Crossbell City. She's right. 
If war hadn't broken out and the Empire pulled the trigger, countless cross-billion lives would have been lost. Shortcomings aside, avoiding a tragedy like this is more than enough to justify the signing of the pact. Either way, it's nothing you need to worry your pretty little head about. Wouldn't you say, your highness? Seriously, Wazy? You can't tell Crown Princess to just get over it. I thought she was gonna get us. I was like, you can't just say pretty little head. That's the princess! <laughs> That's alright. I know that there's no sense in living in the past forever. What a ball! <laughs> For someone that nobody can tell his gender. That's why I plan to use the trade conference as an opportunity to discuss Trospel's future. Coming here today was the final step in strengthening my resolves before doing so. Though I suppose it is a bit selfish of me to make more work for Julia and the Royal Guardsmen. Please, Your Highness, it is no trouble at all. If you don't mind me yet, saying, Princess Claudia, you have an incredible strength of character. Yes, I envy the bright future that a liberal clearly has in store. <laughs> the two of you are too kind. If I may interrupt, Your Highness, the designated time is approaching. Oh, you're right. My apologies, my apologies, Julia. Let us make our way to Orcus Tower. We'll have to bid you for a net well for now. Special support section. Though I may suppose that we may be crossing paths again soon. I understand that you're working security during the conference. That's right. The SSS will be planning an effort to make make sure you all are safe. We will leave this in your capable hands, then. See you at Orcus Tower, ladies and gentlemen. Is it behind here? No? He doesn't make a sigh anymore! Oh, snap! Oh snap, he does not sigh anymore when he sees that. Princess Claudia is a very kind lady from what I can tell. I've only seen pictures of Queen Alicia II, but that aside, the princess truly does remind me of her. Aww. You can't go through the trees. Where is it? Look at that Hi, Dreary! Uh, what is this? A book titled One Minute Cooking Light Meals Edition has been sitting here for much, much longer than that. <laughs> for more than one minute, a fresh sandwich. People call the crossbow problem, but the conflict existed long before anyone thought to give it a name. For centuries, countless innocent lives have been claimed by the Empire and Republic's disputes over these lands. Having a friend like Guy, let me heal and move on from that, but even though... Many crossbells, crossbellians bear similar scars. Nothing here. Where? I, th I thought I was cooking. I thought I was cooking. Well, apparently you go behind there, but... Oh! Here lies Saya McLean. Why is that one special? Huh. I never noticed that one. Wait, I didn't even recognize this whole area. Was this always here? <coughs> so I was cooking? I was right? So it's somewhere here? Where could it be? I interacted with all the tombstones. Oh, <gasps> wait. Ozma Seeker. Wait! This is Noelle Seeker's... someone related to Noelle. I see. So there's a lot more tombstones that meet the eye here. Where is... Oh! What the? That's creepy. That's creepy. What? Who is this? R E S.
Uh, wait, there's... no, it's only this one. Um, hmm. it has to be somewhere here. Around here being the church area. Okay, so maybe I'm around more of the church area than the... Okay, not there. I'm checking around. It says it's standing. Can't go through here. Not there. Church area. It's not this area. Ah! Uh, is it outside the church? Maybe it's a little bit deeper than that. I need to talk. Oh, I gotta talk to somebody. Snap. Okay. I talked to everyone already in the graveyard. That was Senior Captain Shores escorting Princess Claudia just now. She's even more gallant in person than the rumors say. I think I finally understand why so many women make a fuss over her. Hardly anyone could tell the difference between me and Hamil. That's why I pretend to be him sometimes when I'm pulling pranks. Her mom always knows me right off the bat, though. Nobody but our mom and dad can tell which one of us is which. They say that they know just by looking, but I don't get how. We have the same exact face. Is it something, some kind of superpowers that only parents have? Princess Claudia left for Orcus Tower not too long ago. I've wondered how today's conference will unfold, as well as how her highness will move on to be. I heard that Princess Claudia contributed to res resolving that incident in Liberal last year. She even formally accepted the title of Crown Princess in the midst of unfolding disaster. I can only imagine how much she had wrestled with the decision at the time. She may be young, but her resolve is clearly very firm. I expected Princess Claudia to be very tense making her way to the trade conference today. But to my surprise, she stood calm and collected without a trace of trepidation. Then again, she is going to have the next Queen of Liberal. It only makes sense for her to have nerves of steel. Hmm. Rumor has it that Princess Claudia of Liberal has an affinity for swordplay. Supposedly, Senior Captain Shord taught her everything she knows, so she must be quite skilled indeed. Crown Princess can wield a blade. Just goes to show that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Sister Reese is teaching a Sunday school class in Maine today, and... <coughs> Excuse me. Now that I think about it, she should be back now. Perhaps she missed the bus stop? Oh, it is him! Welcome, is there something you require of me? Thank you. If it is the sermon you're after, you may have to make time for you. Oh, so sorry. That's not why we're here today. And the V-card mentioned about the goddess shining visage. Maybe that was referring to the stained glass pit window here. Which would make the one who stands with their back bathed. Oh, I don't understand what's going on right now, but if you have business with me, I must ask you state it clearly. Right, sorry about that. Archbishop Aralda, could you please do us a favor and check under the pulpit? Why would I do that? Now, now, don't fret. We aren't here for anything suspicious. The SSS explained their mission, and after which Archbishop Aralda search under the pulpit. There it is. A card affixated to the back side of the trunk. The fourth cage. The fourth cage lies outside the city. 
find the road of iron and snakes under the skirt of the western camp ramparts. This must be Mistel. Belle loved this one. I'll bet she does. At any rate, that brings us up to three dollars. Just when did that get there? I do leave for business on occasion, but never long enough for someone to do this. Uh, the goddess works in mysterious ways. Back to the card. This clue is perplexing as the rest. We could interpret the ramparts to be some sort of defensive structure. If we were to include the western part in that, we would get defensive structure in the west. That's one interpretation at least. There was a road of iron that snakes under the skirt. Yeah, I don't have any idea what that means. Another failure of speech, I imagine. That's a safe assumption. Alright. Let's take this trunk with us and begin our search for the next one. Phantom Thief B. I've heard of his exploits before. He sounds quite the scoundrel. As a faithful servant of the goddess, I cannot forgive such insolence. Do whatever it takes to bring this man to justice. We'll try our best. So, Road of Iron. I can already guess that's in mines. But if it was saying the snakes under the skirt, is it talking about the 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 trail? So I'm guessing you have to go to the trail. Where's uh it's Tankroom Gate? Mines over here, so it might be mines mountain. Oh wait, it just leads us right in here? Oh snap! Uh, let's um, do this. Get all these. Oh, I guess we can't get all of them. They're too sweet stacked. Finish them. Ew. Disgusting. Has a wide range. Somewhere here. Wait a second. Doesn't look like it's here. Hmm. It has to be in the tunnels, right? Oh my gosh, there's something down there? You try checking the chest a second time, only to witness this tiny bearded man in a pointy hat again. He stops his lively jig and glares at you. You close the, close the lid. And I close it, I will. Let's see this place, maybe? <laughs> Oh. How much damage did that do? Oh, you don't have Analyze. Uh, I see. Uh, Who has Analyze? Oh my gosh! I did not imagine it. That was 1,000 damage. Okay, so it's weak to fire. Oh, nice. We got the heal. Um, can we do an icicle shot? Alright, now. Um, do we know? No, we do not know anything about this little guy. Uh, maple muffin. Oh. Fluffy muffin prepared by Kea has refreshing sweetness. You know that? We do not have water. Oh, normal attacks are good enough. Nice. Uh, so it looks like there are not. A... Ooh, ooh. Oh, 
Nice. Runic robe. 40, oh my gosh, that's really far. 47 out of 61. The, this perplexed Genevieve all the more. You've always kept your anger over all this whole arrangement in. You've been so cold. And now, look at you. You can't even act angry with... I can't even act angry with you like this. Be Ooh! Use this rod to give the Imperial Fishing Club a taste of their own medicine. They're so snobby, they never allow my Aragorn and Crest Buddies to get a word of edgewise. Alright, normal attacks it is. 1,800 damage! Crazy! Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna have to. Do you have another craft skill we could use? No, you don't. We do strike heaven. Nice. Oh, we can't- what the? What is this? Why did I get a cutscene? I saw a person. Suz! Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it was something else. By the sinner, it is- it was wrong. Thus did its ominous clangor resound, heralding the start of an era of chaos. An excerpt from the Book of Ladders, introductory verse, Sound of Awakening. Wait, isn't that... R Rius? Oh, you are the special support section. Long time no see. And who is this? Oh, right. Uh, this is Sister of Septian Church. We met her a little while back. My name is Rius Argent. Pleased to meet you. So, tell us. What the heck's a lady of the cloth like yourself doing in a place like this? G good question. All entry to these ruins have been prohibited by the CGF. Well, I happen to be teaching a class of mains today. By the way back, I had a peculiar sound coming from this direction. A, a sound? Boy, do you think... Yeah, that bell must be re resonating again. Tio, do you sense anything inside? Only faintly, but yes. I can confirm that there is a higher element that will return to the premises. That can't be. Could someone have tampered with the bell, maybe? Hmm. I can't take this place where it has been reporting all those ghosts before. Ghosts? Excuse me, um, would you mind explaining that to me in detail? Sh sure Lloyd recounted their previous investigations of the temple. So that's the whole of it. Now I understand. A mysterious ruin with the three higher elements of- are active. Rius? Sorry, don't mind me. Circumstances that are, I need to stop that bell from ringing as soon as possible. So if you would please excuse me, until we meet again. Huh? Up and over. Wait, Rius? What are you? As I said, I'm going to stop that bell. Quelling the lost souls of the dead is one of the many responsibilities of the church. Well, yeah, but... Come on, Lloyd, say something. Don't you think it's better for us to take care of this sort of thing? I agree. The presence of higher elements indicates a strong chance that fiends may be lurking within. We're both right. It's far too dangerous for a civilian to be strolling around in. That may be true, but... Is there something wrong, Ellie? No, you're right. This is almost certainly going to be dangerous. Rius, could you do us a favor and leave this to the SSS? Well, if that's the way it has to be, then I'm going to insist that you to allow me to accompany you. I'm quite skilled in thaum thaumaturgy, so maybe rest assured that I won't be in your way. <laughs> She's a stubborn one, isn't she? What's the call? It's giving girl boss? <laughs> she sure is. What's the call? I don't think she's going to take no for an answer. We'll just have to bring her along then. 
We've investigated the temple before, so it shouldn't... It should be easier than last time. Then again, are you going to be okay with this again, Ellie? Oh, oh, please. You don't need to worry about me. Like you said, I've done this before. I'll be fine as long as I'm mentally prepared. So in other words, she isn't fine at all. Anyway, in this arrangement all right with you, Rius? Yes, yes it is. I'm glad to have your company. Rius has joined the guest as a party guest member. Remember, if she is KO'd in battle, it'll be game over. Oh, I can't control her? Oh, I can't control her. I was gonna try her out. Yes, I can. Let me, uh, save her. It would be a shame if I got a game over. So I'm guessing this is a secret quest, right? Dark side of the moon. Yeah, that was a secret quest. I'm gonna check real quick in the guide. Yes, it is a hidden quest. Wow, I found a hidden quest without a guide! The door is sealed, sealed shut. It won't open. We'll have to look another way in. Well, it does look like... Why is the uh, map fuzzy? Oh, here we go. Memories coming back of this place. I can feel the presence of the three higher elements quite strongly in here. Though it is not any stranger to that sensation. Oh? I'm impressed. I suppose people from the church really can sense these things. You would be correct. Many of these people have learned the sense of spiritual presences. Speaking of which, I have a question for Tio. You possess a similar ability, don't you? In a matter of speaking, in my case, it would have been better described as an indicated sensitivity rather than an inherited to me. My apologies. Perhaps that was a bit insensitive of me. Not to worry. It was a perfectly natural question. Rias may be more similar to Tio than I realized. Anyway, it's clear that our way forward isn't going to be easy. Let us raise ourselves. Thankfully, we don't have to deal with these gimmick again to unlock the door in the chapel. It'll be easier to reach the belfry from that way out of the way. All right then, make sure you watch uh, watch your six. Don't want any nasty ghouls creeping up on us. Oh, I just know I'm going to enjoy this. It's like going free round of Misselheim's famous horror coaster. Would you knock it off, Wheezy? Or would you leave me no choice but to knock you upside the head? Oh my, do I frighten easily with those sort of things, perhaps? Don't act like you don't know. Anyway, before we investigate this place, even though we've investigated this place before, it's very possible there may be some new surprises at work here. Let's take it one step at a time and not get ahead of ourselves. Roger. Before we begin, there may be something that's been bothering me quite a bit now. Remember to say! <laughs> okay, I'll save. Uh, yes, it's ghoulish hours. There's something that's been bothering for for me for a while now. If I may ask, what is that sugary sweet scent waving off of you, Lloyd? Huh? Could it be the maple muffins that Kaya made for us yesterday? Couldn't eat them all, so we ended up with plenty of extras. Oh, I think you're right there. They kept their scent after an entire day of travel. Such is the magic of Kaya's cooking, I suppose. Rias? Oh, she's hungry! Alright, I'm gonna hydrate. And stretch. W was that you just now? Please, forgive me. I haven't had the chance to eat since leaving Sunday school. You see, it's been a, a ravenous time for me. Would you please be so kind to share one of those muffins with me? Uh, sure, I guess. You're okay with leftovers, that is. Delicious. <laughs> guess that's one more satisfied customer for Kea. This muffin. 
is filled to the brim with radiant qualities of warmth and joy. But I feel just as awful as taking it for free. Perhaps I could offer this to you in return. A burst orb? This was given to me by my superior before I was assigned here. I trust you make good use of it. Thank you, Rias. We appreciate it. Alright, let's pu pull ourselves together and keep moving forward. How strong are these guys? <gasps> Alright, we can't figure out what their weakness is yet, so we're just gonna do it on the attack. Wait. I was like, where did Weezy go? Oh, wait. Weezy got cancelled! No! Rattle scope, analysis, and, an um, and obtains information from an unknown an enemy. Wait, what did she give us? A burst storm? Fills burst gauge. A mysterious drill that fills one third of the burst gauge. Oh, that's nice. Let's see this. Oh, it resists everything except space. Wait, advantage? Eh? I do that? Oh. What is it? We need to use a... Whoa! Oh boy. This is not good. Uh, time for... Uh... Where is it? MP. I can't reach it! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I am being picked on. Um... Do you have MP? Nice. And you can do this. Keep me. Oh wait. We don't even know what its weaknesses are yet. Nice. Oh, yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Uh you can again. Bye bye. Oh boy. Hi, Clock. Hi, hi, Clock. Oh, Vanish works on last enemy ends fights. No, I was just surprised I had this skill called Vanish. Oh god. What is this? Alright. Uh, I'm gonna have another this one. Oh no. Stop! We're gonna have to use a battle scoop. I don't think he has any um impedes. Okay, space. Alright, it's your time to shine, Wazy. You got all the space skills. Okay. Stop! You're gonna kill him! Photon, shoot! Oh wait, do you have uh impede on you? Yes you do. Finish it! Alright, oh no, he's out of MP! Very unfortunate. Oh, I didn't see that one! Oh god, this is bad. This is very bad. Lloyd is gonna die. Uh, tear bomb. No! Stop! Heal yourself! Oh no. Alright. You can do... Another MP. Good, good. Uh, MP as well. Wait, there's another one?! I thought there was only three! There's four! Oh god, that's not good. <laughs> oh boy. Yikes! Get this dark matter. 
Heal yourself, please. Heal yourself. Holy bullet. Uh, wait, you're the only one that can impede very far, so... Okay, this is fine. Alright, um... There we go. Heal her! No! Alright, impede this guy. Nice. Alright, we're gonna have to revive. Do you have a revive skill? You do. Cool. Nice. That was a lot of level up. Door is sealed shut. Oh, so there's no. You can't go in these? Is there. I guess you can't go through these mechanics anymore. They're making it very short. Alright, uh, we are going to just have you defeat this in one shot. Adios. Oh, it just vanished. Swift and sure. Don't know much about the Orbo Net, but cloud storage sounds like heresy. Chess kind should not infringe upon the domain of Chestios. She who stores above. Is it? I forget what the clue was. Oh, it was about the mines. Oh my gosh, what is that? I think that's a skull. Game of Lies! We're just gonna normal attack these. Because we do not know its weakness. Okay, so its weakness. There is space time. What was the other one called? Okay, what is called? I don't know. We have that one. Oh wait, maybe you do. It's Mirage. Good morning, Dakota. How are you? Yes. It's our chance. Nice. Okay, all we have to do is get in, right? Alright, let's heal. Yeah, what's up? Alright, we're gonna save because this looks like a boss fight. Yeah, that took a while. You know, Ellie, you've been looking a lot less pale this time around. I... I suppose. Does this help having Rias here with us? Well, it's only natural we could feel safe in the presence of a sister from a Septian church. Yeah, this is a place of worship like any other back in the day. Then again, what a cute... With a cutie like her around, I always got the answer when all my prayers. That was forced at best. Rias, did you notice something? This crest in the floor caught my eye. Isn't this the same one that belonged to the cult? Oh, so you know about them. You're right. I think there used to be a crest in the Middle Ages. It's presumably played in the role of the bloody rituals they conducted. Reminds me of what happened to us in the last time we were in here. The bell rang all on its own, and a devil spawned right on top of this crest. Oh, D don't tell me. Hmm. I sense an exceptionally wicked presence. Another devil? Yup! <laughs> Not again! Darn, speak of the devil never spelled this literal. Me and my big mouth. Exercise caution. Its spiritual energy far exceeds the one that we faced previously. Here it comes. Oh dear. And we are definitely not as stacked as we were when we first beat this thing. Alright, let's analyze this thing. Yes. Ooh. Uh, okay. We should put on... This is the crest. Uh, what is Lorelei? 
Oh, it just puts him to sleep? Oh. So I do have breath. Nice. That's very good. Alright. Um, let's give it a shot. Let's try Chaos Brand. Oh, Chaos Brand's not gonna do... It's just gonna do neutral damage. Unfortunately for Lloyd, he's useless here. He has mostly water skills. Well, he does have fire, but it's not gonna do much, so the only thing that's gonna work is space. Lloyd, you're on healing duty. Wait, what happened? Is he paralyzed? Oh. Alright, three bombs. Alright. Um, you will do... Do you have any other- Oh, you do not know, ha ha know any other skills. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to do normal attacks. You have Photon Shoot, you'll be able to do some damage. You have Dark Matter. I think Photon Shoot would be better because all that Dark Matter does is... It's an AoE skill. You're about to make some burgers? That sounds delicious. I think this is the only thing you can do. Ooh, good damage, good damage. Keep up with the damage. Oh boy. Where are you going? <laughs> okay, um, do you have a. Let's do the fourth take here. Oh boy. Keep up with the photon shoots. Uh oh. <gasps> what did you do? You can't stop us. <laughs> there we go. This is actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Hold it off somehow. Come on, we were the best in business. It never stood a chance. I recognize a bluff when I hear one. Wait, don't start breathing easy just yet. Oh, it was too easy. Oh no. <sighs> Couldn't even keep the first one down. Now there's more? These fiends, they must be members of the undead. Permanently vanquishing them might be might not be impossible with the weapons and arts we currently have at our disposal. But that can't be. Darn, what a pain in the butt. Well, we better find out how to take them down once we got what we got, or else. Pull back for now, Rius. Just stay between us, and we'll make sure that you're safe. No matter. What. Actually, that won't be necessary. Huh? Fly, infinity. Infinitely sparrows. Oh. What? The heck? She eliminated those fiends in no more than a few seconds. And now for the final touch. Is she letting them pass on? She's purifying them. Oops. L Lloyd! That magic circle just now. Yeah, that's the one that Father Kevin used in the altar lounge. Rius, does that mean you're... I take that you... I take that to mean that you didn't tell them about my true identity, Ellie. No, I kept quiet about it. It didn't seem like the type of information I should share. Would have been helpful a few minutes ago, woman. <laughs> I appreciate that. I believe the archbishopships already have its suspicions about this. But the truth is, I belong to a secret order within the church. The Grails... Grails Ritter, a sect within the Congregation of the Sacraments, tasked with the collection of artifacts. The Grails Ritter? That's the same order that Father Kevin belongs to! You must be referring to Kevin Graham, correct? It just happens to be I'm one of the squires working under him. The original plan for him to come to Crossbell and conduct the investigation into what was going behind the scenes. But the Archbishopship would have never allowed him to set foot in the cathedral, so I came in with place. 
Okay, I was like thinking like, who's Kevin again? Now I remember who Kevin is. Kevin was the, la the MC for Trails in the Sky 3. So that's that's who he was. So he's not a villain. He's just a he's just a very strong peak priest. I was like thinking like, are they talking about the villain? I was like, no, no, no. They're talking about the main character who was who was good. <laughs> yeah, uh, I remember. Oh, my hair tie came out. Hopefully, my hair can stay in place without a hair tie. It's really hot though. All right, um, the Archbishop would have never allowed him to set foot in the cathedral, so I came in his place. I do recall him mentioning the Archbishop's vendetta. That would explain why you're here. The situation with the Moon Temple is just one of the many things you're delving into. Man, though, sounds like- <laughs> Excuse me. Sounds like the church is ain't being so big happy family behind the stained glass. No, shameful as I admit. I'm going to make my way into the belfry to continue my investigation. If you'd like to know more, then I'll invite you to follow me. I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts on things as well. That sounds like a wise course of action. The longer we remain here, the greater our possibility of encountering another fiend. Agreed. Let's head back to the belfry. This must be the bell that was mentioned in the report. It almost looks identical to the one in Central Square. The bell's resonance produces an otherworldly aura of sort that surrounds the entire temple. That would seem that to be the cause of the spirits that we encountered. Last time Randy, Noelle, and I were able to stop it from ringing by force and it wasn't easy. Yeah, we just hold on to it. Stop ringing! Doing so caused a peculiar order to disappear, but thinking back on it, it doesn't seem to add up. Yeah, right. How would this bell this huge even start ringing by itself in the first place? Maybe someone did do it on purpose after all. Perhaps. Intentional or not, let's go, uh, let's not wait around for it to start summoning even more fiends. We could start talking about this after we stop the bell from resonating. Randy, Wazy, mind helping me out? I hate to get my hands dirty, but if you insist, brute force it is. Stop complaining and get to it. Please wait. Physical contact is far from the safest course of action here. Stepping away from the bell if you would. What? should suffice. Rias, did you just- Yes, I used a technique passed down from the church to seal away the magic. Supporting that, the presence of the higher elements have vanished from the surrounding area. Safe to assume the fiends have disappeared along with it. Not to mention our time in the spotlight, not bad, Rias. Oh, I wouldn't say that. You're the reason I managed to get this far. And for that, you have my deepest gratitude. Thank you, everyone. I believe this should conclude for our investigation with To the Fiends. It has been a pleasure. Rias, you bailed us out a lot today. I'll say. Besides, a cutie like you, sister, I'd have gone to Kahena and back. Ah, uh, I appreciate that. Uh, why do I even bother? <laughs> you tried. Pay him no mind, Rias. This one has trouble knowing when to keep his mouth shut. Changing the subject. Shall we accompany Rias back to the cathedral? That shouldn't be a problem. Yes, it says mobile isn't parked too far away. We shouldn't- we wouldn't want to impose, though. What do you think, Rias? It would be rude of me to pass up such a kind offer. Not to mention, I've worked up quite an appetite. The sooner I get back to Sister Juju's cookies, the better. Heh <laughs> better not waste any time, let's go! The Grails Ritter in the special support section. Now there's an amusing collaboration. They didn't do half bad in their fun little game of pump party yesterday either. No bad a plan is complete without some key players. But just how much will they figure into ours, I wonder? <laughs> I always wanted to have something new to look forward to. Try not to slip up everyone. Afterwards, the SSS escorted Rias back to Crossbell Cathedral in their horrible car. 
Thank you for going out of your way to drive me back, everyone. It was such a smooth ride that I couldn't help but enjoy myself. <laughs> Glad to hear it. By the way, Rias, not to pry, but have you told anyone about the cathedral that you're in the Grails Ritter? Strictly speaking, no. That said, I'm sure Archbishop Arauda has his own suspicions. But as long as I keep a low profile, I should be fine. Sounds like being in the church ain't some sunshine and rainbows. Keep yourself safe, okay, Rias? And try not to stress yourself out too much. I feel so nasty. I'll have a drink of water. Your lovely complexion will thank you for it. Of course, I don't have anything to be concerned about. If I ever need a, a helping hand, I'll be sure to let you all know. Same here. Alright, but we should be get going ourselves. Roger that. Dark side of the moon. Alright, uh, we gotta go back to Amaroka. Uh, let's go a little bit deeper into Amaroka. I wonder... We replaced the gate with the old mine after the last one was damaged. Speaking of, would you mind holding this on for me? Just in case. Oh! Are you sure this is alright? We're outsiders after all. I know, I can trust you SSS folk. Should your investigation take you there for any reason, feel free to enter. We recently misplaced the ladder, so it should be easier to move around inside. Thank you, we'll make sure to keep the key safe. Well, look at you! You're as cute as a button. Hi, Flame! Hi, Board! Aw, thank you! <laughs> nice to see you! How are you? Yeah. Having a quick stretch. You know, I could introduce you to some of my mind's most famous, finest eligible miners, if you like. Are you speaking to me? I would ex I wouldn't exactly consider myself an appropriate age to be considering such things. Now, now, there's nothing wrong with a pretty lady thinking ahead, you know. Give it some thought, and if you're having trouble settling down when you're older... Rude. <laughs> C come on, Tio. She means well. I'm doing okay. I've been watching anime the whole day. I've been taking it easy. Nice. That's pretty nice. Are they out? They are no longer here anymore. And it looks like nobody's gonna ever take this room. Oh. Okay, I don't know what it means to be on the snaky part. I've been taking some guesses. Oops. <laughs> You could probably beat this just by normal attacks. How are you? How, how is everyone? I'm doing good! I've been keeping myself busy. Been, um, been doing projects, uh, doing some art. Was watching, uh, Detective Conan with friends. Um, it was kind of funny though, um, uh, when I was in the middle of watching the show, my friend, it was her first time watching Detective Conan, right? And we went through like already like a hundred episodes in total. We've been watching it for like a couple months together. <laughs> and she was like, you know, I'm afraid to say this. She goes, this is like, why are all the guys to Detective Conan hot? <laughs> and I was like, I know, right? That was so funny. Dedication, yeah. We got 1,100 episodes to go through, but the show's so good. I wonder if there's anything in here. That is a lot of episodes for sure. Huh, what is this? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna look at the guide. Uh, let me put up this so uh, I don't get attacked by monsters. Uh, dark. No, it's not dark side. I mean, it's Donut. Um, 
So old Amarca Road, small shed, the private property area. Where is that? Where is that? Hello? I'm looking at the picture. I don't know where this is. Huh? Oh, it says I should check the wild paintwork in IBC before this um this quest is over. Okay. Um doll location number four. Where is that? That is a lot of episode. It sure is. Okay, so it's definitely not here. It's it looks like a sophisticated area. It says it's in where is it? It's at? It's in, oh, Belgar Gate. Oh, Belgar Gate, hidden on railroad tracks. Left side of Belgar Gate, near some storage crate. What? Where is that? Okay, so we gotta go to Belgar Gate. Let's leave. We are yeeting out of here. I was wrong. I When I heard mines, I thought they were talking about mines. Oh god, oh god. Let me get to my car. I hope everyone's doing fine. Yeah, I hope so. Everyone's doing fine too. Alright, Belgar. Over here. He said there was a hidden. He said it was left. Let me get there. Left. 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 Oh, whoa! You could actually go down here? Never seen this place before. Oh, this is where it's supposed to be. From what I saw in the picture. How do you get there? Where it's supposed to be. But how do I get to the the railroad tracks? Hmm. What? How do I get there? Hidden on the railroad tracks, left side of Velvar Gate, near the storage crate. I see the picture where it is. I don't know how to get there. My guess is I have to go outside and do it. So it says that it... I have to go on that railroad. Wait, what's here? There is no treasure chest here. No chest there. Oh, chest! Yeah. Nice. We love Seppin. You good? That's good. I'm doing good too. I've heard that Arkansas's new shadow puppet performance will make one to two billion Mira. But I guess those are only projected figures. Oh, oh they do little damage. Yes. Yeah, these, this is like nothing in comparison to the monster we were fighting for in the the tower. Ooh, shield! Nice. Ooh, wait. Raises defense and AD of when HP is low once per fight. Oh, 
below 28% HP, 4 turns of defense and ADF. Yeah, you came back to you came by to say hi. Thank you. Thank you for dropping by. Sleep. This chest contains a flyer at the underground hotel. No matter the hour, get a good night to rest with us. Geo friends sector. Oh, what's this? Yeah, still not biting, huh? Maybe it's time for me to switch up my bait. Where is? There we go. Oh, I got no bonuses for that. Uh, okay. Hmm. So I did get a new ornament, and it's probably for Ellie. I need this though. Maybe I could switch them? Alright, uh, let me check her arts real quick. So, spark dine needs space. It has to have space with it. Uh, maybe I could have a replacement quartz. So, hair... Oh yeah, evade one can be replaced. Oh, you can't replace with sleep because I got blind. I think I'm gonna take the sleep. What do I do? I don't know how to get to that place. How do I get down there? Even with a guide, I can't find my way down there. Okay, let me see if I can go upstairs. Maybe I'll be able to find something. Oh, I already collected this. Ah! How do I get... Hmm. Do you have any hints? Belgar Gate has no freight line running right below it. I just got back to Crosswell Station right after the routine freight inspection. Did you guys go down there? Should be fine. Just be careful of any trains coming through. Is there a way down? Okay, so it's not this one because I don't see the suitcase. There's supposed to be a suitcase there. And it did say Belgar Gate, and we are on Belgar Gate. So maybe it's a little bit deeper in. Oh! <gasps> this is how you do it! Oh, snap! Oh, but there's no chest here. Oh, wait, there it is! Uh, how did this even get here? said, the road of iron that snakes under the skirt of the western ramparts. So, the iron road was a freight line, and the western ramparts were referring to the Belgar Gate. At any rate, this is a really an ideal place to pop a trunk open. Now oh, we take this to the platform on the other side. Good idea. Let's be careful moving it over. A card fixated to the back of the trunk. a hair. Final cage within the city, the soaring structure structured to, of the summit by 16 by 21, and scour the vista windows to the other world. Oh, 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 oh. I did not mean to press auto. This one's a Bell's Doll Sharon. I'm sure of it. I make four out of five, right? Meaning that all that remains is the final cage mentioned in the card. Soaring structure in the city, it has to be talking about someplace tall, right? Hmm. I, 
believe Orchid's Tower stands at 40 stories above ground. If, but if the summon in question here is at 16, then perhaps it's talking about somewhere else. There's also a matter of descending from 16 by 21. Doesn't sound plausible. It's probably the key of solving this riddle then. I have a vista of windows to have another world, but to consider too. Yeah, yet again, some sort of metaphor. Let's look around the city and see what with anything matches up with the clue. I already accidentally spoiled myself with the next places, and it's IBC! Uh, where's my car? Car don't go! Where'd my car go? Oh, there it is. Alright, let's go back to Crossbell City. Um, okay, we go to IBC. Over here. Okay, we're gonna go grab that thing before we go upstairs. I mean, downstairs. Let's grab it. This thing. Magazine entitled Monthly Car Mania Volume 2. It's stalled out on the table. Learn the new orbital car pattern while paintwork. Ooh, nice. There's nothing else here. Cool. Yup. So we got four out of five dolls. There it is! The final trunk! In the soaring structure descend of the summit of 16 by 21, scour the vista of the windows to another world. Descending to the 16th story of the IBC building at the 5th basement level makes a difference of 21 floors total. The vista of windows allowed to another world must refer to these terminal monitors tracking data from the orbital network. Well, by that logic, that was the only spot that made sense. Let's take a look around inside. This doll's name is Alice. It's Belle's favorite out of her entire collection. There isn't a card in the back of like the others. This must be the end of our scavenger hunt. That's the end of that, then. Ugh. Finally, I'm exhausted. Huh? The heck was that? What's going on over there? It sounded like we just got a new orb mail in. Hold up. Is that one of Lady Maria Bell's dolls? Yeah, I was just sitting here. How did you guys not see it? My concern lies at the timing of the orb mail. May I take a look? Something about this gives me the shiver, so be our guest. What's wrong, Tio? This one sent sent this message with Phantom Thief B. What? The guy himself? You're kidding! But, but how? I'm from where? Do you mind opening it, Tio? Roger. Sender Phantom Thief B. Subject unidentified. To the lovely ladies and gentlemen of the special support section, first allow me to express my gratitude for the entertainment you provided me thus far. Next, my sincerest apologies for the owner of these dolls, Miss Maria Bell Cross, as well as their creator, Meister Joburg, for my dastardly improperty. Nevertheless, rest assured that I took the utmost care to not damage these beautiful works of art while they were in my possession. With that, I will soon be excusing myself from these lands. Thank you once again, and farewell, special support section! My Phantom Thief, Blue Blanc, Enforcer Number X. Of the society or board. Wait, what? Is Ouroboros? Oh. Striker, if you don't understand what this means, Ouroboros is the big bad guy of uh of the Trails games. So hearing the Phantom Thief B was actually part of Ouroboros is just groundbreaking. Wait, I think I know who Phantom Thief Blue Blanc is. Oh, I know who he is. He's so... What do you call it? He's like, ho oh, oh, so haughty. <laughs> yeah, they sound like it. 
await your continued growth and bated breath. May the goddess wave with good fortune upon you. He's Blake. Yes, this warp mail will automatically be deleted and thus be impossible to save of trace. I suggest you not bother trying to with VP. <laughs> Wait. Wait, is he serious? You you would think someone like him would choose a more theoretical lit way to let his cat out of the bag. Who would have thought that everyone's favorite phantom thief was actually an enforcer for Ouroboros? Come to think of it, he did hint at being acquainted with Reen. Oh wait! Tio, was there any way we could print out that message out? Yeah, there's some sort of clue that we could glean from it. I'm making an attempt, but it isn't going especially well. The mail source code has been slowly deleting itself the moment it was open. Unfortunately, there's no other terminals have been affected. Recovering the message, however, will not be possible. Shoot. Burglar boy really covered his bases here. That reminds me, we also have Dilly Squad about the hacker who trapped us in jail front yesterday. Good point. But between the hacking incident and this ore mail, they've honestly cut above the when it comes to their tech. It's Teal Kitty. Yeah, she is a she has like robo cat ears. Not sure if I fully understand what's happening right now. Wait a second. Clay, we have to verify the breach didn't impact any of our data. Oh, oh yeah. You gotta... He could've left a virus on our system. Sorry guys, we need to get back to work. Well, at the end of the day, we did manage to recover all of our missing Rosenberg dolls. Let's return them to Maria Bell. Yes, let's. I think I get the gist of things now. Still, what a shock it's to learn to the legendary Phantom Thief B is a member of Orboros. That's true. It's no wonder he's eluded from the authorities for as long as he has. In here, I was planning on punishing him so severely that he would wish he'd never been born. I'm gonna be scared. <laughs> scared of crap in his shoes. I'm sorry, Maria Bell. We, we wanted to capture him as much as you did. But on the bright side, we did manage to bring your dolls back. The SSS handed over the five trunks containing the Rosenberg dolls to Maria Bell. <laughs> Welcome home, Alice, Cannon, Lite, Mistel, and Sharon. Very well, I have no complaints or further comments at this time. All that matters is that my precious Rosenberg dolls have been returned to me, safe and sound. Phantom Thief B intended to keep those little ladies in one piece from the start if there's any consultation. After all, he went through the trouble of securing them in those little trunks, tucking them out of harm's way. That is a lot of work, come to think of it. Though, they wouldn't be better off. They wouldn't have been stolen in the first place. <laughs> That's definitely true. Clearly. We have no further to improve the IBC's safety protocols to ensure that this never happens again. Our safe security department will be working harder than ever before once I'm through with them. You, however, were a tremendous help, SSS. You can learn a few things from They can learn a few things from you. Don't even mention him, Belle. That's what friends are for. I hear something. But wait. Last time this happened? No, it couldn't be. Is something wrong, Lloyd? And just what those left oh. Those eyes of yours po doing pointing at me. L let me explain. When we first uh, solved our first case with Phantom the B case, it turned out that he had disguised himself as client. Holy smokes. I forgot about all that. What are you implying, Lloyd? Let me be as clear as I can. Are you the real Maria Belcro it <laughs> oh, come now, Lloyd. Just where do you have the gall to accuse me so crassly? And after all that genuine gratitude I've shown you. I'm so- uh, There's no mistaking it. This is the real Maria Bell. Oh, Lloyd. Not quite the brilliant deduction he was aiming for, was it? Afterwards, Lloyd and the others went to the first floor to return their authorization card to the reception desk. What if the reception desk person was Phantom Thief B? Today's incident is a clear sign that our building security is in need of further improvements. Nevertheless, thank you for recovering Miss Cross's stolen dolls, SS. 
I hope you allow us to return the favor if you ever need our services. Or it wasn't her. Inspection and Ursula Road. Uh, let's try to do the Ursula Road monster extermination. Excuse me. Let's go to the garage. Alright, Ursula Road down here. Thank you. Alright, we should probably save real quick. In case I die. Where would this monster be? Let me check another hint for this. Big drum has been sighted on Ursula Road. That's all it says. Okay. We just have to look around Ursula Road till we see a big red dot. Which I don't see a big red dot here. So let's keep going. That's not it. Ah! Somewhere around here. Perhaps around... I don't think they would put in straight... Oh! Oops! Oops. Um, let's try to do a combo craft. Nice! I'm a vanquisher. Okay, this looks like this might kill me. Oh, never mind. Mm. Let's analyze these. Can I analyze these? Yes. Alright, you have enough, so we can try to do a combo crap here. Oh boy. Whoa. Okay, we were able to clear up a lot, and it looks like Lloyd does not have anyone to combo crap with. He could try to do it by himself. Let's do rising. Yes. Okay, it looks like combo crafts do a lot more damage than singular crafts do. Sorry, Weezy. Oh, luck. I was once a tower gazer's chest, but new diet and ma mayor was renovated. Now I'm an upscale apartment for monster swarms. Hmm. Oh, shiny palm! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a shining palm. Oh god. I can't miss this. Crap! I'm gonna do this. I saw this VTuber couple. Is there a way to paralyze this thing? He could fall asleep. to find a way to paralyze it or something to make prevent or like make it fall asleep but I guess not I had to kill it within those four characters uh, hmm. why is everybody taking the spots Heart of Star Boy set sail for dreams. I traded my days for something free to live out my greatest fantasy. <laughs> Alright. 
Not here. Actually, let me take the bus to the... No, let me take... Ooh! Hayworth! Hey there, Harold. Oh, it's not Hayworth? Good to see you. What brings you to St. Ursula today? I'm here to deliver some bed sheets. I like to get them to their new home as quickly as possible, if you don't mind. Sure thing. I'll give you a hand carrying them inside. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's go back to the fork. Do you like fruits? I do like fruits. Why you ask? Okay, no monsters here. I love fruits. Mm, bit over here. Nope. I don't see a, a red dot yet. No, where is it? I tried this place called Playa Balls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Play a balls on me. Where? This is boss. <gasps> there it is. I found it. <gasps> I got a fruit bowl. Is that a real place? Cause it just sounds like a decent nuts joke. Oh wait, wait a minute. Let me let me save. Banana and something else for me. Mango and strawberry for little sis. Wait, is a real place? Oh boy. All right, time to combo craft. Oh no, you don't have a synergy with Ellie. Ah. Uh... Alright. Let's uh try to analyze this then. It's real! <laughs> it's actually real! Oh boy, it heals. Oh god. What? And he doesn't have impede. Wait, you could just attack them. Uh Combo crafts. Wait, no, not no combo craft. Guess I should impede. Uh. Oh, oh I'm doing it! Crap! We are so dead. Oh my gosh, we are gonna be dead! Stop! Oh my gosh, I did it. Oh my gosh, this is, this is the whole battle. We are just impeding the whole time. Okay, bomb. Uh, crafts. Impede. Playa means beach is bad. Oh, I see. Oh god, please. Oh, what is this? Wheezy. You can't even move. You should just move away. Um, you are going to use impede. Gosh, what is this? Wait, he's dead! Stop! Oh my god! Okay, time to revive. Wake up! Wake up! Oh my gosh, I had a full charge and I was just... <sighs> Sir. 
run away. Move. We have to stay separated. Alright. Uh, revive. No, 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 no! No. You, you heal yourself. Um. Yeah, you just heal yourself. I'm gonna have to buy more tear bombs. Alright, um. Get a reviving bomb. You're gonna die. Oh my gosh, there's no way. Alright, um... Take off the Kyria... Uh, take off the, the stun. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. I need to take... get a... What is this? I need to have uh, something to resist stun. Do I need to stop this? Okay, good, good, good. Let me uh, go back and heal. <laughs> Uh, let me load my save, actually. System, load. Alright, um, let me change my equipment. Alright, prevent seal mew, prevents poison. Let me get one that could prevent... What is this? Auto CP up. Okay, we're gonna have to buy some, uh... S stun resist. I didn't think I would have to do that, but I need some stun resist. Where are you, car? Don't go. Yes. Ik doko ni iko kana. Sa, ikuzo. Yes. Tsuita sa. Alright, so first things first, there should be a shop. Which shop sells? I'm trying to remember. Which shop sells the the accessories? I think we would have to go to the department store. Department store, where are you? Department would be uh Central Square. And if I remember, second floor has. They're very expensive though. Right here, the jewelry store. Alright. Oh, uh, what prevents. Freeze, petrify. I'm looking for stun. Sleep confused. Wait. There's something called. What is it called then? Is it. That's not petrify. Um, let me look at items. Faint, sleep, petrify, freeze, burn, blind, mute, seal, poison. Wait, what is this skill called where you ha are frozen? Is it seal? A oh, it cures paralysis. Okay, so what we're looking for is seal. Okay. Let's look for seal. So prevent seal mute. Seal, seal. So do I already have seals? Let me see. Uh, equip. Wait. Oh, he does have seal mute. All right. How about you? Um, take this off. Find one that says seal. No. You might. Alright, let me go to the shop. I just need at least like two or three characters who have seal. So keep Lloyd alive. He has seal. Um, let me buy. Alright. Megu Haduda. Equipment. I mean, not ornament. Equipment. And take off faint and put on the seal one. What do you have? Confused, sleep. T 
Team Rush Chance Up. That's pretty good. Prevents Delay. When did you get these? I don't remember giving you these. You have Petrify, and you do not have anything. I'm pretty sure I also got some new... I thought I got new equipment, but I guess it wasn't that good. Yeah, it wasn't that good. Alright, let's keep going. I was like looking at that couple, and I was like thinking like, they look- wait, what's happening here? I hear your reads. Chill out! I can't write without a pen, and Graceland never settles for anything but the very best. Would you please hurry up, Grace? We don't have much time. It's happening. Janetta went out for dinner for a group of rich guys last night. Sounds like it didn't go over too well, though. Hmm, I wonder why I feel so relieved about that. Weird. Maybe because you like her? Maybe. Alright, let's go back to the garage. We're going back to Crystal Road. Now we have two characters with seal. Alright, we're gonna have to find the entrance to that way again, which I'm guessing. So here. And then we keep going down, and then we're gonna save. Stomach. It's just time. I wish we had Teo, um, all geared up. But I don't have her geared up at the moment. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's do... Wait, where's Encourage? There it is. Uh, let's... Do an S-Craft. She can't do any... Here, so let's do... Ariel. Oh boy, here it comes. Yikes. Oh god, is he dead? Alright, try to- you're gonna be in healing duty. You will go ahead and... Fellas? Yep, that was- that was bound to happen. Alright, time to move. Oh boy. Uh, you will heal. Next. We were able to figure out what was the the debuff. Alright, let's see. Um let's figure out how we're gonna do this. Um you are gonna oh you don't have any CP. Ah, uh, hmm. Oh boy. We're gonna have to heal Randy. Actually, Randy, Randy's useless. But it's good just to keep him alive. Alright, time to do a craft. We are gonna impede. Do we have another impede skill? No. This is the only impede skill I have. So. Uh, I'm gonna have you move. I don't want to waste items. 
任せて Okay, you could do a impede. Oh, nice. It didn't cause a, a status effect. Yeah. All right. You will keep walking around. Hmm. You can probably attack this guy now. Oh, you might want to run. Uh, let's see. Impede. He's not dead yet. Impede. I'm going to have him move around some more. Okay, you're gonna have to move around. <laughs> Alright, move away. Alright, uh, let's see. You, you probably have enough to impede. Alright, and then you will heal. Oh, it's just only Deloitte! A little bit more. You were so close. Yeah, you don't have any more. There we go. One down. Okay, finally attack. All right, do you ha you do not have enough? <laughs> and you will keep moving. You probably can impede, right? No, you cannot. Oh god, we need to heal, boy. Tira. Oh my gosh, Lloyd is more important. <laughs> we need to work up on Wazy's. Um, what is it? We need to work up his his CP for now. And then you can finally use. Impede. Nice. Keep moving. You should probably have enough. Nice. We have put down the amount of people that are victims now. <laughs> Alright, we can a little bit more. Oh god. Keep moving. And you will do... Should I do a heal? Nice! Oh god, Randy! We're trying to defeat these things! Okay, uh, you probably have enough to impede again. Nice! Oh my gosh, Wazy, your impede is amazing! Actually, you could you could handle these three. I could just go ahead and try to fight these guys. Oh, I can't. They are too far away. Um, oh, you wait, <laughs> wait, Randy, stop getting s sealed. Okay, I think everyone looks okay. You could probably do a craft. Nice. 
and your crats. Yes. Ready. We have so much attack damage. Okay, everybody's HP looks pretty good though. Yes. But Randy could actually um, do an ultimate once he's unsealed. Okay, so we have enough to impede. <laughs> oh, now he's. Oh no! All right, everyone else seems okay at the moment, uh, but you do not have enough. <laughs> This this fight is going so much better right now. Wait, wait, wait. You can do arts? Wait, you can do arts? I didn't know this. Oh. I'm silly. Okay, let's do... Where's the uh, MP? There it is. Uh, there it is! We got another one down! Two down! Is this hentai? <laughs> Wait, what's hentai? What's a hentai? What did I say that made it sound like hentai? Yes. <laughs> another one down! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tentacle things? <laughs> My wonder. <laughs> Okay, we need to heal. Uh, who, who's also... We're gonna go give it to Wazy. Oh, I just wasted my Tira. Yare yare. Yare yare. Nice. This has become so much easier finding out that when you're sealed, you can still use art. <laughs> wow. They were able to help this whole time. Whoa, the force. That is a lot. Ceremony the Monster of Ursula Road. Craftbook Akasha is uh Wazy and Ellie able to finally do crafts together? Oh my gosh, my controller disconnected. This is one of those crafts books if I'm not mistaken. At first glance, its contents seem to be good fit for Ellie and Wazy. Let's go! Yes! I needed it for this fight! <laughs> Would you like to give it a try, Wazy? Why, absolutely. Ellie and Wazy learn Akashic Star by spending 100 CP each. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so we finished that one. All that's left is one more um, mission, and then we can do main story. Wait, where are we going? <laughs> where are we going, first of all? <laughs> so we need to go to inspection of the rails. Due to the conference, there is a need for an additional train inspectors. Consequently, I would like to request the aid of the special support section meet me at Crossbell Station. So we need to go to the south exit if I'm correct. Thank you. Alright, this is it. Oh wait, no, no, no. We're in the wrong one. Up here. Here we are, Crossbell Station. One of the inspection officers sent us a request, right? 
Yeah, let's see if we can find them. Oh, we just have to find an officer, right? Who's this? She's dressed very interesting. What am I gonna do with you? You devoured all those roasted chestnuts we bought as souvenirs in Altair before you even left the train. You better not come crying to me if you end up spoiling your appetite for dinner tonight. What? Altair was pretty fun. It got us to this place in the Syria River. It was huge. There was a ton of boats on it too. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm headed to Erebonia on a business trip. Can't say that I'm curious about the trade conference, but I do. S uh, I'm sure that they'll write all about it on the Imperial Chronicle. Where is he? Oh, are you the special support section by any chance? We are. We received your support request and came to inquire for more details. You are the inspection officers from Calvar, correct? That I am. My name is Mar... Marlo? I was transferred here from the Republican Army. I'd like to get started right away, that is. Assuming that you accept my request? We'll be glad to lend a hand. Thank you. Allow me to bring you up to speed. It's rather simple, actually. This request will only consists of one task. You'll be assisting me in conducting an inspect inspection of a train abroad for Calvard. Oh, well... There is a coincidence. Imperial Inspection Officer had lent us a hand on with that once, so we should be able to manage. Just have to check and see if there's any suspicious people or items on board, right? Precisely. Your experience in the matter will make this much easier. Keep in mind that security is currently much stricter across the city in light of the trade conference. Not only is our inspection process more rigorous than usual, we also expect you to cooperate with the police department. We simply don't have enough inspectors to handle the increased workload right now, hence my request. The next train to Calvard is now arriving at Platform 1. Please watch your step as you make your way to the platform. And that's our train. I'll give you all the details once we're on the platform. Inspection on the rails started. Whoa, look at that! Whoa, it's red and gold, it's so pretty. It's Einsgraf, a trade that used exclusively by the Imperial government. Its regal design is almost a symbol of the Empire of it itself. There's almost something very Imperial about it. Well, the blood and the Iron Chancellor did arrive on that circus on the rails. That cocky guy sure loves to stand out. It's darn impressive, I'll give it that. Willing to bet that they didn't spare a single mirror building it either. Yes, its appearance is far down from the impressive aspect. Knowing that Einsgrad is also the fastest orbital train in existence. That claim is still unverified, however. It is its exact specifications as yet to be publicly ex disclosed. That's still very impre impressive. I wouldn't expect anything less from a nation with a railway infrastructure as robust as Erebonia's. No one else in the continent can match them in that respect. That much is clear. The Empire is of a league of its own with far more fields than one. Ahem. <coughs> if you're quite finished, I would like to explain the details of this request. S sorry we didn't mean to get distracted. Please, continue. Thank you. As mentioned before, I would like to your assistance for our inspection duties. Some of you will be examining all the passengers' entry applications and luggage. The rest will participate in a safety inspection of the train itself. What does a safety inspection entail exactly? You will be insisting with me directly. I'll be providing a set of instructions to follow for a series of checks. Hmm, I see there's six of you in total. Well, we'll form three pairs then. Two to inspect the cabins and one to act as my helpers. Pairs? I, think I remember working individually last time. Yes, that's the way that we did the assistance to the inspection earlier this year. Oh, that's right. We've done this before. Typically, one person will be enough, yes. This time around, however, we need more thorough. We need to be more thorough. Conference calls are stricter inspections, hence why we'll be doubling up. I see. That makes sense. I'll let you decide how you divide yourself up. Though, if you're having trouble, you can always resort to rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors? That's right. Strictly speaking, there's no real deep need to put too much thought into these teams. Unless you want to bond with them. 
The sooner we start, the sooner we finish. Which I'm sure would be both in our best interests. Well, in that case, I don't have any ejections. What about you guys? Sounds like a good time to me, so why not? How should we... Uh, how should we decide who plays whom? Oh, I have a suggestion, actually. Everyone goes simultaneously if two people choose the same shape. They form a pair. Then repeat the process until you have been paired off. You seem awfully familiar with this. Haha, <laughs> more or less. We divvied up our work like, the, like this to mix up things from time to time back when I worked in Calvard. It's a flexible concept. We struck up an Erebonian expand. Ugh. Give me a moment. <laughs> It's a flexible concept these stuck-up Erebonian specters would never use. Not sure if I would call that attitude very flexible either. It very much boils down to the differences in their country's cultures. Meh, potato, potato. <laughs> anyway, want to give it a whirl? Sounds good. Anyway, on shoot. Play rock, play. Oh my gosh, we're actually doing this. Um, rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. There's me and a whale for rock, eh? Well, that makes us a pair. Let's show them how CGF albums get things done, Randy. That leaves us with a trio of scissors and one paper. The four of us will have to repeat the process. Yeah, on round two. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Ellie and I both pay play paper. <laughs> this is fate! We are fated to be together! That's so funny. Shall we, Lloyd? Now I mean, Wazy and I are in the final pairing. Glad to be working with you, Plateau. Looks like you're all ready to go. How should we split up the work? I wouldn't mind helping out Inspector Marlowe. As a CGF guardsman, I have plenty of experience in checking with the freight trains that pass Sir Tangram Gate. Well, why didn't you say so sooner? Should you should certainly use the help. Now then that we're all decided, let's proceed to our posts. I want the other two teams to split up on the passenger cabins. We, met, uh, we made the announcement already, so we should already know that you're assistant inspectors and you should be fine. Roger that, sir. Alright, we're in charge of the last two cars. Looks like it gives us a few passengers to inspect. Yes, we have to check them one at a time. Shall we begin? Excuse us, we're assistant inspectors. Sorry to trouble you, but may we see your entry papers and check your luggage? Oh my. I hope you're doing alright. Doesn't seem to hear you. Ahem. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry about that. I was spacing out, wasn't I? You're inspection officers, right? Please, go right ahead. Thank you. This should only take a few moments. Okay, your luggage and papers are all in order. We appreciate your cooperation. Of course, no problem at all. Excuse me, we're assistant inspectors. Sorry to trouble you, but maybe, maybe see your entry papers and check your luggage. Sure, go right on ahead. Good luck on your inspections! <laughs> thanks. We'll be done in a jiff. Okay, your luggage and papers are all in order. Thanks for your cooperation. Not at all. It's only right I let you do your jobs. Thank you! Bye-bye! <laughs> you are very welcome. Hello, we're insistent inspectors. Sorry to trouble you, but may we see your entry papers and check your luggage? No trouble at all. Go right ahead. Okay, that should do it. Your papers and luggage are all checked out. There's one, just one thing. Oh? Is something wrong? Yes, sir. Uh, well, we couldn't get help and notice that your boarding pass was nowhere to be found inside your carry-on. But you happen to have it on you? You- you didn't see my ticket? No, no, no! It can't be. I'm absolutely positive I placed it in my bag. I can't find it! Where could it have gone? Is it in my pocket, perhaps? Rats, not there either. I'm sorry. Uh, would you- would you mind waiting just for a moment? I know my ticket's around here someplace. I'll show you as soon as I dig it out. Oh, all right. We'll give you a minute to come back. Let's continue inspecting the others. We'll keep an eye on 
on him and circle back. Pardon us, we're assistant inspectors. Sorry to trouble you, but when we see your entry papers and check your luggage? Heh, <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Go right ahead. Do your worst. Uh, okay, sus. <sighs> he seems very gung-ho about this. Okay, your luggage and, and papers are all in order. Thanks for your cooperation. <laughs> so you noticed, eh? This folder is full of contracts. I'm in the middle of some big, big negotiations right now. These bad boys are gonna make a killing. Oh, I can't wait to get these signs sealed and delivered. Uh, oh, how about that? I uh, hope it goes well. So what is that enthusiasm was about? He just wanted to show off. No, I don't think, I think he's sus. I'm sorry, would you mind waiting just a moment? No way to get around here someplace. I'll show you as soon as I dig it out. Yay, watch out, Grandpa! Uh, Grandma and Grandpa, here we come! We're going to visit my parents over in Carbard. My little daughter is eager to see her Grandma and Grandpa. Just look at that smile! I'm headed to see my hometown in Ord State. My own mom's doing alright. Uh... Oh, there's more. Excuse me, we're assistant inspectors. Sorry to trouble you, but may we see your entry papers and check your luggage? <sighs> you act like you're making a request instead of a demand. Fine, fine, go ahead. Just go ahead and make it quick. Right, uh, this won't take long. Okay, your luggage and papers are all checked. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, your gratitude doesn't mean much when I never had a choice in a matter to begin with. Is that all? So... Do me a favor and make yourself scarce. Uh, of course, if you excuse us. This job has its stressors, I suppose. <laughs> it's just as I heard. This Eisengraf is a true marvel of engineering. I hardly contain myself. Ooh, whoops. Don't want anyone seeing me like that. Did, did she just start drooling just now? Um, pardon us. We're assistant inspectors. Can't you see I'm busy train watching? Everything you need is in the bag. Go ahead and knock yourselves out. Oh, okay then. Okay, your luggage and papers are all checked out. Thank you for your uh, cooperation. <sighs> How many more minutes do we have left together, my sweet? Not ready to say goodbye yet. She's quite enamored with that train, isn't she? Good day, we're assistant inspectors. Salfin, is that a man with hey, you? Can we help you? Hmm? What's going on here? We Jin? You! You're from the SSS! And I'm pleased to see you brought Ellie along as well. Oh my gosh! Everything's lighting up here! <laughs> Hello, Jin. What are you two doing here? We're in assisting train inspections as part of the support request. Having said that, we're going to need to check your luggage and papers. So that's it. Even the mighty SSS isn't the Mino Drudgeny like this, are they? Very well. If that's the case, then hurry up in with your inspection. And done. Your papers and luggage are good to go. Thank you for your co for cooperating, Jin. Absolutely anything for you, my dearest Ellie. This may be goodbye, but I'm sure we'll meet again some one day. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Hi there, where is it? Assistant Inspectors. Sorry to trouble you, but may we see your entry papers and check your luggage? Huh? Why do we have to let you go through our stuff? <laughs> hey, knock it off. There's no need to be rude to the guy. Sorry for that. My sister could be a bit of a handful. Promise you she's not trying to be a little brat on purpose. What do you think you're calling a brat? Some older brother you are. Um, I can start, right? I believe so. Okay, your luggage and papers are all in order. Thank you for your cooperation. It's fine, and if anything, I should be apologizing for my sister put you through. What the heck? If anything, it should be... If anyone should be apologizing here, it should be me for being a, having a big fat idiot for a brother. Let's get the heck out of here. I think that's everyone. Now we need to check back to the older gentleman on the fourth car who couldn't get his boarding ticket. 
Right, let's make our way back and see if... G give me back my ticket! Lloyd! Yes, let's go. You're not fooling me. I know for a fact it was one of you two. Now, who did it? Fess up already. Excuse me, what's going on here? Oh, it's Inspector from before. You just got in time, Inspector. This old fart is accusing me of ste- Old fart! Why, you good-for-nothing cheeky. Uh, everyone, please, calm down. We know that you're tense, but if you could please start telling us your side of the story. Now I get the full picture. You brought a ticket to Ord's State and seated you in the fourth car of this train. What's more, these two gentlemen claim that you have the same exact purchase themselves. And now that your ticket has gone missing, you're accusing of them for stealing it. Do I have that right? Yes, exactly. There's no doubt in my mind that I had that ticket on me when I walked onto the train platform. I couldn't have lost it between here and there. It doesn't make a lick of sense. Now the reasonable explanation is that one of these two stole it. I understand why you think that, sir, but you can't jump to conclusions just yet. It's alright, it's alright. Let him believe what he wants, I say. He's just a senile old man, after all. How dare you, you little... That's enough. You two need to settle down and be rational about this. We're not going to be going anywhere if you keep hurling insults at each other. Now then, I have a simple question to ask the two of you. Who do have a boarding pass? What is the purpose of your journey? Business? Pleasure? We need to know before anything else. You want to know what we're traveling for? What does that have to do with anything? Are you going to prove my innocence with that alone? Potentially, yes. A thief can't control the destination of a stolen ticket, so the reason for traveling may be fabricated. That were the case, the culprit could slip up and make themselves known. Oh, now I understand. Yes, that's certainly possible. Ah, perfect. Well then, answer the last question. Oh, I will, and gladly at that. I am a merchant, and I'm on my way to a broker with some very, very important negotiations in Ord State. I have some contracts here. My client is a business in Ord known as Leasing Company. Leasing? Leasing? So tell me, what reason would I have to steal a ticket from this doddering old Fodgy? <sighs> Alright. What about you, sir? Well, um, my hometown is in Ord State. Is that enough of a reason to travel there? No one's saying it isn't. Didn't help much. We won't be able to come to a conclusion at this rate. <laughs> How amusing. These triggers think they can make the most bald-faced lies. Shin? What are you doing here? Passengers aren't supposed to move between cars between inspections. And you already finished your war inspections, haven't you? I think I could let this one slide. That's not... <sighs> Fine. But at any rate, I came because the scene you were causing Kate seemed entertaining. Allow me to join the fun, too. The fun? So, what lies are you exa uh, talking about exactly? You'll see. Let's start with the merchant here. You claimed you were negotiating with this lynching company, yes? If that's the case, what's the nature of your contracts with them? Cool part about this is if you don't do the Jin Sai side quest earlier in the game, he doesn't help here. <gasps> oh snap! That's crazy! If that's the case, what's the nature of your contracts with them? This is nonsense! Why must I go along with the questions of some child? You must know they involve with the wholesaling of exotic vegetables and spices grown around Orid. As you may know, the state is quite renowned for its agricultural sector. As for the Li Jing Company, they are an affiliate of Heiyu Trading Lu. Um, I don't know what LTD means. It's, it looks like the word limited? Or lieutenant? I don't know. Based on the Eastern Quarter, they're as about as legitimate as it gets. I believe it should erase any doubts. So you say, this is indeed the Legion Company in Ord, as I am well aware. However, at present, they are no more than a mere setup with no real foothold in the region. There is no position to hold an international negotiation, that much is for sure. Uh, what? What the heck would you know? Good question. I'll let him answer for me. It would be my pleasure. You, sir, I have enough of your insolence toward the young master. Listen well. You stand in the presence of the grandson of the Heiyu Elder, Master Jin. An Elder's grandson? 
You must be joking. Wait, th that suit you're wearing. I know I've seen it before. N no, this can't be happening. Now you understand. Now come clean. What's your aim here? What are you really after? W well, I... Fine, have it your way. I'm sure you're having fun telling the inspection officer about the interrogation room. Oh my gosh, I'm losing circulation in my hands. They do some little stretchies. I should probably plant my feet on the floor. Ugh. There we go. Wow, Shin's good. Yeah, he's a precocious one, that's for sure. Precocious? I don't know how to pronounce that. And now it's your turn. Shin? M me? What do you want with me? Isn't he your culprit? Oh, when did I ever say that? We're not finished here at all. You said you're from Ford, is that correct? Y yeah, I'm going back to my hometown. If you were born and raised in Ord, then you shouldn't have any trouble answering me this. Aside from the agriculture, Ord State is famous for its remote destinations. Not to mention, it's at many hot springs, so tell me this. Which of these is a hot spring in Ord? A. The Elmo Hot Springs B. The Parm Hot Springs Or C. Ord Hot Springs Go on, answer. Huh? Isn't it obvious? Everyone knows about the f famous Ord Hot Springs. I see, I see. <laughs> What's so funny? Do you think I'm an idiot? That you think you could get over one on a child? The Ord Hot Springs? There's no such thing. Who would ever establish a place on such a cliche name, you fool? If you were really from Ord State, you would have simply answered that it was a trick question. Uh, how may I ask you another question? Though honestly, I only expect you to dig your grave even further. Where are you from, really? Um, well... Ahem. <laughs> It's not that any of your business, but I'm actually Calvardian. But but I live in Orin now, really. Please, you have to believe me. Oh, do we now? What do you make of this special support section? We established that each of them is guilty of deception. But which one is, of them is the ticket thief? R right. Let me think it over. Man, I think the merchant is getting scammed. Honestly. The merchant is like trying to flex and stuff. He's getting scammed. The young man though, he's probably the guy that stole it. So I'm gonna say that. I would suspect the young man. Granted, the merchant exaggerated the contracts he showed us, which I do find suspicious. But while he may, we may not know his motives, he clearly went on great lengths to fool us. Hinging all that preparation on committing a misdemeanor wouldn't make sense. You should make, take into account that if the thief's destination isn't Ored, they can use the ticket to exit the train earlier. Which leads me to you. You are our culprit, aren't you? I... Uh, hmm, well done if you just barely. There's no use feigning ignorance anymore. You can't cover, keep covering up your lies. Show me the honor and confess your crimes. Please, don't turn me in! W what Why would we? It's my ma. She's in the hospital in Calvard. That's why. That's why I had to go see her. There was no other way. Oh. Well, this took a turn, didn't it? Go on. Explain yourself. Uh, okay. The truth is, I'm studying to get into St. Ursula Medical College, but my family is very poor. Ma sacrificed so much that she, so I could come to Crossbell. I've been paying my way ever since part time jobs. But then, out of the blue. I got a call saying that Ma suddenly collapsed and was taken to the hospital, so I... You wanted to go visit her, but didn't have the mirror for a ticket. So you stole one, is that correct? Y yes it's true I did it. I'm so sorry. All I want to do, do is be there for my Ma. I sympathize with your circumstances, but a thief is still a thief. Theft is still theft, and we can't overlook that. How about this? I'll pay for your ticket. Ooh. Huh? Shin? What do you say, old timer? If he returns your ticket to you, will you be willing to forgive him and forget? 
Well, as long as I get the dang thing back, I don't have no reason to press charges. As for you, yeah? Visiting your mother with a stolen ticket. Do you think she'll be happy to know that you did such a thing? Well, I... Don't misunderstand my kindness. I may be footing the bill, but this is no gift. It is merely a loan. Ooh, snap. I won't put a hard limit uh, on you when you have to settle your debt, but believe me when I say you will do so. I understand. Thank you so much. I will pay you back, I promise. And you better keep that promise. With that, the matter is resolved. You two, call the inspection officer over. I'll give him an explanation of this myself. Right. I've been informed of the situation. Good work at handling this theft case. Uh, oh no, we were just doing our job. What do you plan to do with the thief, though? Will he be punished or released? Actually, as far as I'm concerned, all charges have been dropped. Really? Just like that? Indeed, the victim stated no theft has occurred and there had been no intention of taking legal action. According to him, the young man simply neglected to buy a ticket, and there was an honest misunderstanding. Nobody is willing to admit the crime took place, there was nothing for us to investigate. Ah, but this is all because of that kid. You're right. It's probably because the story Jin told him to stick to. He really knows how to spin a narrative. What about the merchant, though? That man, on the other hand, is a very much under arrest. Turns out that his true identity is that of a counterfeit ticket ticket broker. Counterfeits? What is he doing on the train himself, then? Testing out his own product, it seems. He's bold, I'll give him that. Wait, who? The merchant was a counterfeit ticket broker? No one expected. The bottom line is... You kids did a stellar work today. Thank you once again for your help. You're welcome. We're glad we can make things easier for you. Don't hesitate to contact us if you ever need our assistance again. Be sure to keep that in mind. So long for now. So, it sounds like Jin played a major role in this case, huh? That he did. I never ex imagined that we'd meet again like this. Me neither. If anything, it's reminded us how cunning he is for his age. Yeah, imagine how big in the pain in the butt he was when he gets older. I'm starting to regret not regret not having the chance to meet him himself. His bark is worse than his bite. Out his grandson or not, he's still just an adorable little boy in the end. <laughs> That's true enough. Anyway, let's close the books on this one this team this one team. Let's take a little break and hit whatever's next in the agenda. Let's go, let's turn all these in! Is the SSS building? Point. Ooh, bonus CP. <gasps> You've been promoted. You got a true gladiator headband. Let's check out that headband. Where would the headband be? Oh, there it is. Uh, gives gives us defense. I think that would be good for a Randy. Uh, let's do this. Uh, but it doesn't really prevent stuff, so I don't think it would be a good idea. Let's uh heal up real quick. Let's, um, move to, what is it called? Orcus Tower. So, we are now in main story here. Today's trade conference, main session, let's knock out as many support requests as we, before we head to Orcus Tower for security detail. We, we did everything, right? Yeah, we did. We are good. Let's, uh, save our game real quick. Let's head in.
You'll be unable to buy new equipment and items to upgrade your ornaments. Oh. Honestly, I think we're all right. Be warned that all outstanding requests will expire. Uh, let's enter the tower. Yeah, I think we're good with ornaments and equipment. すごい感覚入ってくって感じだね。IBCビル以上に近未来的な雰囲気ですよね。確かビルの全フロアに動力ネットが引かれているはずです。IBCとも連動しているため、株価指数などのデータもいやえ、そのあたりはおじさまのア
Did I go through that too quickly? Let me see. It says, I hear from Delhi it's quite a tricky situation we find ourselves in. The Jaegers and Heiyu are the cause of concern, not to mention whenever it is the Imperial or Republican governments are up to. それと謎のハッカーですね。奪われたタワーの爪はやはりこちらの端末から。ああ。どうやら俺キスタワーのサブ端末をハッキングしたらしい。IBCの一件があって以来システム部門でもハッキング対策は強化していたつもりだったが、
下のフロアに待機している状態だ。話は伺っています。警備隊でもエリス売りが集められてるエリス売りが集められてるみたいだな。しかし、報道陣ってことは、グレース女子も来るのかなノー。クロスベルタイムズのジョスリストにあったと思うから。多分取材に来るだろう。Basically work here instead of IBC now, and that's why his daughter is working IBC. ちなみに報道陣は取材と記者会見の時以外はこのフロアから出さないようだ。なるほど、合理的だね。たまに警備をすり抜けて突撃インタビューをするような乱暴な記者もいますものね。というか。グレースさんが一番そんな感じですけどさすがに見つけたら止めないとなぁ一応こちらの部屋も案内しておこうか。これは見事だね。休憩室みたいだけど、すごい開放感だな。ここは会議の関係者に用意されている休憩室だ。休憩時間などに遠慮なく利用してくれたまえ。はい、遠慮なく。<笑>後でお茶でも一服しに行きましょうか。さて、こんなところで次のフロアに案内しようか。This place is huge. That's going to be used for something. Stairs. 警備上の理由ですねでももし地震なんかが起きた時はその場合自動的に全ての非常階段が解放されるまあ完璧なセキュリティはありえないということだね Man Yeah this is definitely saying there's gonna be something that's gonna be happening Probably in this, this chapter ハッキング対策なども考える必要がありそうですねさてせっかくだから階段を使うとしようか35階国際会議場フロアだおおわおなあ this place looks very special こえはすごい見晴らしです。これだけ天井が高いってことは2フロアはぶち抜きみてえだなああそのため上の35階はこの字型の構成になっているちなみに両脇の部屋は各国首脳の関係者が住める控え室になっていてね護衛の将校などが待機することになるだろうなるほど確かにそういう部屋も必要だろうねさて最後のフロアに案内するとしよう The VIP floor. ここは会議に参加する各国首脳に用意された控え室のあるフロアだざっとだけ案内しようお願いしますいまいちすごい
こんな部屋で優雅に時間を過ごしたいもんだねこちらはオリバルと殿下に使ってもらう予定の控え室だ左翼にも部屋があって参加者ごとに割り当ててあるまあ会議でヒートアップした頭を冷やしてもらうための場所かなななるほど一応こうした部屋にも動力ケーブルはのう目立たぬ形で配線はされているはずだまあ他の部屋については割愛するとし最後にあそこだけ案内しておくとしようかこれはディーター市長お疲れ様です<笑><笑>楽にしてくれたまえこの回廊室からは会議の様子を一通り確認することができる機密性の高い会議などではカーテンを閉じることもあるがなるほど会議の様子を確かめられるのはちょっとありがたいな、oh, that's a conference room. そうね何かあったら駆けつけることができそうだしそういう意味では巡回ルートにしたいですねさてこれで君たちが警備する3つのフロアを案内したが最後にとっておきの場所へ案内させてもらおうか、oh, とっておきの場所へえどこすか<笑>このビルで最も見晴らしのいい場所さ、oh, is it the sky? Sky? What is it? The roof. さすがに見事だね。わあ、シネマティック。おっしゃ。That is a picture <笑>。<笑>言葉も出ないな。え、そうね。まちがまるで。ミニチュアみたいに見えますねいやー夜はさぞかしすんげえ景色なんだろうな<笑>いずれこの場所は展望台として市民に開放しようと考えている政府関係者だけが実践するのはあまりにもったいないと思っているのでそう思っているのでそう思っているのでそう思っているのでそう It's restricted. Oh, ah, so do I eat this? Kia, Chan, go for it. Let's get it. Oh, to sit there. No, so what? Do you know that you got to talk to the real test begins? So this guy, Pontoni, I got to resign. マジ楽しかったっすいい経験をさせていただきました<笑>こちらこそいい気分転換をさせてもらったよそれではまたは後で警備の方は頑張ってくれたまえはいお任せくださいま推薦分くらいは頑張らせてもらおうかなエイドスのご加護会議の成功お祈りしてます<笑>私も祈っているよ。さてと、俺たちもダドリーさんに行くか。Well, that's it. We're just going back to Dudley after the store. 確か34階の警備対策室でしたね。しかし、このまま何も起きなくて。そうですね、本当に。Same day, 1 p.m. So, it was Korea. Nishi Zemuria, two show Kai no Hong Kai Gio Kaisi Tashimas. Gigi Shinko wa Sen et Nagara. 私、ヘンリー・マクダエルが行わせていただく会議は一度休憩を挟んで約5時間を予定しておりますただし
進行次第では多少の延長はありえますのでよろしくご了承くださいそれと会議に際して2名のオブザーバーに参加してもらっていますヤン・グリムウッド弁護士クロスベルのみならず周辺諸国で活躍している法律専門家です国際法監修法にも通じているため本会議への参加を要請しましたはじめましてヤン・グリムウッドですほうあなたが有名な熊彦先生か人権問題などにも積極的に関わられているとか<笑>よろしくお願いします<笑>精神誠意務めさせていただきます遊撃士アリオス・マクレインやはり周辺諸国で多大な功績を挙げていることで知られています遊撃士協会という中立的立場から本会議の安全を保障してもらうためアリオス・マクレインですお見知りおきをはは<笑>風の牽制だったか共和国でも何度か君の名前は耳にしておるよデートでもたまに聞きますがかのクロスベルの地に恐縮です I read that really really fast I am so sorry for you guys who can't read as fast as I can Um, tales of your deeds、uh, reaching imperial capital as well. People often speak of the cross bell, a divine blade, a man swathed in wind born might. So, there was a sock to Narimasa. Kaku Gian no Kento ni Hailimasho. Tengisha, Dita Kroys Sho. Sets me to Hosoku Onegaishi. Who is yours? Mazu, Otemotoni are Shirio, no Saishoni are Gian Besna. ああ。ネゴシエーションズハブビガン。でも、アリオスさんが呼ばれているのは聞いてたけど、イアン先生まで呼ばれてるなんてな。しかも、クマヒゲ先生の名前で知られているみたいですし、国際会議では様々な合意
there's not a speck of out of place in a potted plant. Now that I'm done with it, wait, did you just only dust this plant? Time to double check for any spots I missed. You double checking on the plant? Okay, this is the downstairs. I don't mean to make a fuss, but are these refreshments truly suitable for the president? I I understand your concern, but the kitchen staff did their very best with them. I'm sure it'll be fine. Besides, they're patriotic in a way, don't you think? I suppose so. But surely there are better alternatives. Is there some kind of issue with the snacks they prepared? Those sweet buns that have Mishi's face on them. I would recognize them anywhere. They're Mishi buns. Yeah, let's see the problem here. Any other food stuff would be objectively inferior. C calm down, Tio. If anything else, they'll give the president something to remember Crossbell by. Yeah, it's so true. I don't think there's anything here of interest. Yep, no exclamation points. Honestly, let me go across over here. Oh, this is the elevator. We can all leave. Oh, right, the illustrious operator is usable during the trade conference. As a ser security precaution, yes. I believe this elevator's locking mechanism is controlled via Oracle Network. Well, it shouldn't be Orchika's tower if their security system isn't state of the art. It's no big deal. We could just use the leftmost up elevator instead. What about this one? The mayor and speaker will be sharing this room during the intermission. They have their work cut out for them representing Cospell today, so I'm gonna make this place as spick and span as I can. Man, I like their enthusiasm. This Bible gives you the amazing view of Crossbell. Even I try to clean the windows and I end up getting distracted gazing out of the city instead. I heard Prince Olivier, uh, Oliver is especially fond of red roses, so I took the liberty of fetching some to decorate his room with. I hope he enjoys them. This room will be this, uh, set aside for Prince Oliver to enjoy today's intermission. His highness is quite renowned among the imperial upper crust in his rooms. Uh, for his refined taste and unique pursuits. Knowing that he makes me want to put all of my energy into preparing this room into his liking. This is probably Julia's room. Wait, Fletcher? Is that you? Meh, get a load of that view. Ain't that something as says. Fletcher? What are you doing here? Oh, come on, guys. I'm part of this Excellency's the Chancellor's stuff. Nothing unusual about him kicking back in here. About me. It's been a few weeks, guys and gals. We really gotta stop meeting like this. Even today of all days, you look like you don't even have a care in the world. What he looks like is someone with something to hide. Hey, don't be like that little lady. The only thing I'm hiding under this charm is an additional surplus charm. So, those glares on your faces tell me you guys have a buttload of questions you want to ask. That's right, we've been learning a thing or two in the past 24 hours, specifically about the Imperial government's actions and lack thereof regarding the trade conference. All right then, not exactly sure what you heard, but let me shoot you a question of my own. Did you know about when I'm working for the noble faction to take Gillis Osborne's life? What? Oh? Consider the source, everyone. Don't listen to what he says. I ain't fallen for this one again, pal. Pull us once, shame on you. Dang, <laughs> don't ruin a guy's fun like that. Two, got, uh, two out of six ain't bad, but I was hoping to string half of you along at least. I suppose we could just chalk up one of us have a crude attempt of humor then. Listen, Letcher, because I need to make something clear, I don't care what your position or goal is. From where I'm standing, this type of person who knows how to take responsibility and get the job done, owing to that, the most logical thing to do is to cooperate with us, at least as far as security is concerned. So that's your play. I was only fooling around with the turncoat business just now. You can't just tell me it's totally impossible to picture, right? You gotta keep your eyes peeled at all times. Stay vigilant and see the sun. That's the key to a good writer finding inspiration, you know. I wonder what's inspiring writers in this room. Last time I checked. I've seen broken rifles shoot... Uh, straighter things than this guy. 
Sorry, that's all the advice I can give you at the moment. You should get, uh, keep an, eye, an open mind about how things play out. Expect the unexpected and all that jazz. That's real helpful. Thanks. Even now I feel like I can't get a read what he's thinking. I feel like I understand him even less than I did before. Is there someone else in this room? Nope. Uh, is there any objects in this room? Nope. Okay. Probably go down the stairs. Uh, this is the way down. We just only need one flight down. The conference room appears to be doing well. Better than a typical Republican Parliament session, anyway. The president has relieved it. Has to be relieved to be not dealing with the opposing party today. Well, look who it is. It's been some time, SSS. How are your patrols going? Kilika. Ah, but what are my manners? Last time we met, we were under different circumstances. Allow me to reintroduce myself again. Ah, Cat wants to come in. Let me in. Let me invite her in. This one's a female cat. I'm awake. Yes. <laughs> you fell asleep, Clock. Oh. Yeah, oh. Um, yeah, cat cat came in. Do a little stretches, guys. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> Stand up, do some do stretches. One, two, one, two. <laughs> uh, but what are my manners? Last time we met, we were in a different circumstances. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Kilika Rogan, aide to the President of Calvar Republic at your service. I have other responsibilities and titles, of course, but they're nothing worth mentioning. I suppose not. I stayed up till 3 a.m. <gasps> no! Yeah, I know. It wasn't because of me, because I didn't stay up till 3 a.m. I um I got off the computer around 12, but I did go to sleep at 3 a.m., but for a different reason. <laughs> I was I finished getting ready to bed. I was in bed at 1 a.m. And I was just sitting there trying to sleep. And I don't know. I think I just felt like I was like all of a sudden I was like, I want to take a bath. <laughs> I want to take a bath. So I want to take a bath and um, came back an hour later, 2 a.m. was like sitting in bed and I was like, man, I can't sleep. <laughs> My cat is taking up half, like, like three-fourths of the bed. I can't sleep. <laughs> yeah. What does Straker do? Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize Straker said, hi, awake. <laughs> that was, uh, it was Clock that sent those three messages. Yeah, so... Kind of similar mind. Also, daylight savings time. It's l making us lose our perception of time a little bit. Would that include being an entertainment producer, like you mentioned before? It would. Quite legitimately, in fact. It was just one of my many hats I donon. There is, for that matter, a production company office back at Republic as well. I see, in other words, there are no holes to poke your story. She's a woman with a mask for every situation, and with any self-respecting spy, she knows how to use them. My power went out for an, at a night, so I woke up at 6 a.m. when my PC restarted. <gasps> no! Oh no! Your PC's okay. Hey, I like a little mystique. What would I wouldn't give to a roleplay with her just for one night? Those are one comments best kept to yourself, Randy. Care to share your conversation with the class, you three? Oh, that ex reminds me. A little birdie tells me that a little birdie invited you aboard the Arncel Ar yesterday. I beg your pardon? You should have expected you would already know. Jeez, how do you how do your sources even get this stuff? 
Yeah, I think she's fine. Just the monitor came on in my face. Oh! <laughs> Settle down. It isn't anything to fret over. I am curious, though. Do you ha hear anything of note? There's only some friendly advice, nothing more. Still plenty that we need to figure out for ourselves. Is that right? Well, it could be this could be said for myself. What? I was merely thinking aloud. I could envision many scenarios as I like, but it doesn't mean any of them would come to pass. With so many conflicted motives, there's so much I don't know that's true of everyone working here today. Will everyone be today? Will today be the day first domino falls, or will the juncture yet come? Who could really say at this point in time? I think I understand what you're getting at, but still. Either way, she's right with the mirror. The only thing I need to add in my role today is nothing more than of a presidential guardian and keeper. In that case, would you most consider us as colleagues? Would say put aside our allegiances and simply watch how today unfolds. Beyond that, I have no further comments to make the moment. Fair enough. Thanks for the information. We obviously can't enter in the middle of a conference. Let's leave before leave before any we bother anyone. All right. I don't think these guys would have anything to say, and I'm pretty sure we can't go in there. Conference cert currently in session. If you'd like to observe, you can do it in the gallery in the next floor. Let's see. Oh, I see some some faces I recognize. Good afternoon, everyone. If it isn't the special support section. I take it that you're securing the conference floors for everyone. That's right, we managed to eke them out on the assignment in part of the security. So, this is the room they stash all the big guns, is it? Metaphorically speaking, of course. I bet every person here is a ranking officer. Correct. By all accounts, this room alone could prevent a major accident. Absolutely. Not to mention Senior Captain Schwartz's swordsmanship. I've heard it's as fearsome as it is elegant. You are far too kind. There is nothing so extraordinary. That being said, no matter what happens, no one will let much as lay a finger on her highness. I swear it. Trust us to protect the conference room, and we will trust you to keep watch over the other floors. Of course. Thank you. Yeah, that is good. It's good to see you again, Major Vander. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary yet? Ah, oh, hello there, SSS. It's hardly enough of a reason to let our guards down, but things have have been calm thus far. Even this discourse of the conference itself has been civil. I am admittedly impressed by how smoothly things are going. If the conference continues to go well, then this will alleviate some stress of the prince's shoulders. Is everything okay, Master Vander? You seem to have a lot on your mind. I suppose you could say that, in a sense. There's only been this much... Uh, we've only come this far because of the seas he chose to sow, but never mind that. What matters right now is our duties at the conference. I've got a role to play as the prince's escort. Just as I'm sure you have your own, keeping the conference secure. Right. That much is for certain. This seems- this person seems familiar? Or maybe not. Maybe this is a new character entirely. <sighs> I've been a nervous wreck all day. But I can't let this opportunity go to waste, especially after Prince Oliver's done for the Academy. Most importantly, I'm here to represent it of Thor's. Oh, wait a minute. Is she a character for the next game? What? Toa? She's a character for the next game, right? Yeah, I don't recognize the name Toa for Trails in the Sky. She has to be the character for the for Trails of Cold Steel. Toa, Toa, Toa. Is she the girl who has the glasses? I'm afraid to look it up, honestly. She's a Cold Steel character. Oh my gosh. They showed her early. I knew I recognized her. So Even though it was a different art style, I felt like I recognized, like... Her appearance. She's a student. She's the one in the glasses, right? No, wait, no, 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 she isn't. 
Now I remember who she is! Yeah, you could like social link with her! Like, it's not like uh, she's not a member of the party, but she's like the student council president. Now I remember her. What? They show her this early? Yeah, she's so important in Tra Cold Steel. Yeah, when I, as soon as I read Thor's, I was like, that's the school they go to. Gotta pull myself together to chip in. And she's also wearing the uniform. What's a girl in a school uniform doing here? I did hear a student was going to be accompanying the Imperial co government in the conference. Supposedly, they're hoping to gain some real-world experience. Being one of the best and the brightest in their academy, that must be her. Darn. And here I was thinking someone could have been, uh, couldn't found a babysitter. Somehow I get the feeling that she and I would have a lot to talk about. She has skip a grade or two, right? Well, you never know. The girl must have been around the same age as you and Lloyd. She seems to have got a good head on her shoulders, so I guess she might be older than she looks. It would seem to be nice uh, nice to get to know her. But we're a bit pressed for time today. Ah, we got a little cameo for a future game. Let's go. That's the elevator. Let's go to the other rooms. Captain Grant, pleasure to see you. Hey, Grant, working hard? Good day, Sergeant Major Seeker. You as well, Sergeant Orlando. Though I'm, I suppose neither of you are technically part of the CGF at the moment. That's true. But my leave is only temporary. You can address me by whatever you find easiest. Uh, I don't really care either way. Are you two the only representatives from the CGF on this floor? That we are. It's out of consideration for the dignitaries of the members of the press, you may say. Part of the CGF's orders for this assignment is to stay out of the sight of to minimize exposure, hence the bare bones of deployment. It sounds like resonating goes deeper than that. It does. Essentially, the decision is a way, is a way of tiptoeing around these two major powers. While the Guardian Force's weaponry is restricted by stri state law, it still functions the same way as any other state military. We stay within budget, but a great deal of our funding goes toward maintaining and improving our arms we're allowed to have. These exemptures would be easy to point of contention if they were out in the open during the conference. Out of sight, out of mind, in other words. Diplomacy can be a fickle mistress. All true, but I do not try to think about it too much. In the end, the both of us are up here for appearance's sake. Still, there's an entire company of guardsmen one story below ready to mobilize at a moment's notice. Should something happen, they should be on this floor in within seconds for us to assured. Good to know. We'll be counting on you if that comes to that. Uh, important looking face here? Nope. We still haven't caught wind of any ter terrorist activity. But it's too optimistic to hope they caught off their plans in the face of our flawless security. We would have been so lucky. Ah, oh, there you all are. Have you noticed anything amiss? No, not yet. That monitor over there is giving you a security overview of the entire tower at once, right? Correct. You have access to every critical area of the building in real time. That includes the conference room, of course. Thankfully, this tower is equipped with the most advanced security system in the continent. Numerous, lo numerous locations are beginning to incorporate video surveillance, as I recall, from the IBC to Orville stores. Never seen such a large quantity of them in one place, however. Not many of them are, or half of it. The fact that the technology even exists is, am is amazing on its own. I wouldn't be surprised to see them use a survey of areas outside the city. Someday the CGF stays might be numbered, Noel. I don't know if I'll be, be ever that simple. How widespread they become is dependent on how the public's approval. Digressions aside, there's more to a welcome a convenience for this assignment. Without any leads of the terrorists' plans, all we could do is nip things in the bud at the moment they strike, whether the night right before or after. That's why we have to keep our eyes sharp. Can't afford to overlook the tiniest detail. If you ever come across anything suspicious, be sure to report it at once. Understood. 
The infrastructure we set up here is allows us to consolidate and parse every bit of security data that flows in just like that. Plus, while the terminals are here at Limited, we're still able to access the database in the CPD headquarters. Should the need arise, we have detailed info to suspicious characters outside of our fingertips. Watching the building outside the monitor, you can tell everybody on the security detail is on high alert. Things would be a lot simpler if our fears of their, these terrorists turned out to be unfounded, wouldn't they? We're accustomed to protecting the government's property and dignitaries alike. Whether the anniversary festival of this international conference handling large-scale events is part of the job, all of us in security division are contributing to keep our gorgeous tower safe during the trade conference. I am stuttering a lot. <laughs> our members are practical combat specialists who train constantly for the emergency situations. Should the worst come to pass, I assure you that they are capable of as Crossbell's guardian force. Yeah, we're just like trying to find whoever is it gonna trigger the next part of the story. Good to see you, SSS. Hey, if it isn't Lloyd and Company, it looks like we'll be waiting forever in this trade conference to kick off, doesn't it? This is the main event of all the main events. Crossbell's leadership and representative of war from four nearby countries in a bonanza of international discourse. And of course, a big to-do with this demands a prime-level venue, Orcus Tower, the continent's first true skyscraper. Can you feel it? The nerves in the air? <sighs> I'm so tense that the that my heart's about to jump out of my chest. I definitely can see the tension, but honestly, you don't have to look, you don't look the least bit nervous to me. I suspect the nerves are coming from her and from more of a future perspective victims slash interviewees. <gasps> Tio, you're back! And you brought what's trademark snark with you with too. Yeah, definitely wasn't expecting to see Toa. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'll admit, I'm not so much anxious as I am giddy. But enough about that. There's something I want to introduce you to. Me, no, Nokia, no, no, Notia? Notia? Noticia. Noticia? Noticia, this is a special support section. Nice to meet you. I've I've seen you all in my papers before. You look like an even finer team in person. I'm Noticia, a reporter from the Liberal News. Thank you for keeping us all safe in the day. Happy to be a service. I've heard of Liberal News Service. It's the single largest publication in the kingdom. That's right. They all have been seeing a lot of attention in the journalism world for another reason. Two of their own reporters were awarded for the Fulletizer Prize last year. The Fulletizer Prize. If I remember correctly, they give the most outstanding journalists on the continent each year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the one. Anyway, the most latest recipients are a duo with names Niall Burns and Dorothy Hyun. I remember those two! Oh my gosh, I remember those two. Niall's our ace reporter, and Dorothy's a brilliant camerawoman. So, the kingdom took home the crown last year, huh? Two guesses as the prize winning story was. Could have been about the strange phenomenon that happened in Liberal around that time? Right again. Though technically, everything they covered leading up to the incident factored into the decision, too. I see. They sounded very impressive. Yeah, I guess so. But that doesn't mean that we have to lie down and let them outshine us. It's every reporter's dream to win the full size your prize, at least once in their career. And if you want to win the next one, well, you better get the best scoop you can each and every day, especially next one. You got that, Rhines? You can't let any of these new shawls get the jump on us. Y yes, ma'am. If Grace gets any more fired up, the orbital sprinkler might go off. Let's hope she behaves herself, at least. I'm Thompson from the Arden Press. A pleasure to meet you. You're a photographer from Tyrell Times, if I'm not mistaken. That's right, I'm still a rookie. You said Arden Press, right? You mean from Remifera? Maybe from different countries, but we're not competitors today. I'm looking forward to working with you. Haha! <laughs> Likewise, I'm hoping we all get the story we're looking for. I have 
been turned to many positive remarks by the Crossbow Police in the past. However, seeing how tight the building's security is, I'm getting the exact opposite impression today. I'm getting a drink of water real quick. conclusion I could come up to is the CPD's shortcomings as a result of the structure, not their people. The trade conference is truly extraordinary. I've never covered anything like this before. Conferences between two of the countries are uncommon. Uh, I think in Cold Steel 3 and 4 she's an actual companion, but I actually played those ones. I have not bought those games yet. I'm planning to buy them. I only bought 1 and 2, but I only played half of 1. I think I reached to the point about whose backstory was I on? It was between, I don't know which one was like the newest one, it was either the, the guy with the blonde hair, the snooty rich guy that turned out to be not so snooty, or it was the guy who uh, had a family that owned a ranch. I forget which one was the newer chapter that I read. But we also got to learn about the girl in glasses. Conferences between these two countries aren't uncommon, but between Crossbell and its four neighboring nations, that's unheard of. Yeah, that's how far I went in Cold Steel. That's probably like chapter three? Not very far then. Yeah! Perfect. Not to mention both Chancellor Osborne and Pre President Rocksmith are attending in person rather than sending surrogates. That is essentially the first time these two men have ever met face to face. Talk about history in the making. That is unprecedented to say the least. Reporters from every participating nation have gathered in the sake of covering this day. You and in your Imperial Chronicle colleagues included. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that the Red Constellation was mentioned. So funny enough, they always like to foreshadow future characters in past games. And I'm like, that is, that is forward head thinking and stuff. Because Red Constellation was mentioned back in Trails in the Sky. And now we know what the Red Constellation is. And I remember that I also read about the Red Constellation in Cold Steel. But at that time, I did not play this game yet. So I was like, is the Red Constellation going to be meant, like, going to be shown what it is and stuff? And now I know what it is. <laughs> it's like, man, there was a lot of talk about Red Constellation, like so much focus on it. Who are you? I can't believe that woman would uh, know I'm sure of it this time. What is he mumbling about? Excuse us, Vice per Commissioner Pierre. What? The, the special support section? Oh, joy. Well, can I help you? If I may ask, Vice Commissioner, what are you doing there? Two, you just can't. Oh, nothing. Nothing except my job as director of the security command room. Huh? Since when? Come to think of it, I do recall seeing your, your name sprinkled around some of our materials. Ah, I see. I never read those, hence my confusion. You what? Ah, here we go again. You probably should have mentioned this all to you sooner. Oops. One question, if you're head of security, why are you here instead of the command room? Taking a little break? P please Dudley has full authority while we're here on site. Oops, I didn't read it all. With my permission, of course. So you see, there's no reason for me to be in the command room. Too many leaders spoil the group, as it were. Think of it as you like. Your superior, I know, is the best of the operation. Now then, you six focus on not getting in Dudley's way. Y yes, sir. Listen up, there is a press conference scheduled during the intermission. Please sure make sure that everyone is in order, on the double. Phew, so this is where they put the lunchboxes. Finally, I could grab a bite to eat. Is there anything of notice? We take and juice. Sporden X. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I need to buy this. Um. That is some valuable 
valuable stuff there. Yes. Kore de hito tori mawataka. Ima no tokoro wa toku ni hondai nasa so desu ne. Ah. Kono chou shite mou ichido mite maaru to shiyou ze. So ne. Kae ni no hou wa dou natte iru no ka shira. So da na. Shichou ya gichou ga ganbatte iru to wa omou kedo. Hondai wa tekket sai shou ni ロックスミス大統領ですかまあ休憩時間になったら誰かに聞けばいいんじゃない The trade conference begins to reach its halfway point. Before the intermission officially began, the heads of the state held a brief press conference for the media. Alright, what's happening? Meanwhile, Lloyd and the others took the opportunity to speak with Mr. Grimwood, who had started his break ahead of the others. なるほど。そんな事情で君たちも警備に参加したのか。ええ。正直気休め程度にしかなっていないかもしれませんが。いやいや、市長を暗殺未遂事件で大金星を挙げた君たちだ。この場にいてくれるだけでも私としては非常に
think they had it available for PlayStation 5? Maybe? But I didn't get it. But, um, just tells me how special that is to get the steelbook versions. That one I'm not sure about. You haven't seen that one? I feel like the steelbook version of Tales of Symphonia, it had a picture of, what was it? It was a little mascot character that Sheena always had with her. I am not paying attention to what's happening here. Whoops. Let me read back. It's only a matter of time before the foreign military presence enters the equation, but what about the non-aggression pact? It's only been two years since it was signed. The Queen of Liberal did not push the pact into being with Crossbow's best interests in mind, but technically, two of the nations participating today never signed the pact, Remaferia and Well Crossbow itself. In light of that, it's only inevitable that a new continental security framework will be discussed. Like this, so, my grandfather shares your concerns and expectations both. ベロを交えた新たな条約を結べばいいのでは。そうですよ。苦戦条約と同じ国家間の争いを武力で解決するのを禁止するような枠組みを。ああ、そうか。クロスベルは国家じゃない。いや、クロスベルは国家じゃない
どうやら最小と大統領はそれぞれ安全保障に関する提案があるらしい。Too small to be its own country. It's just basically just a city with some towns surrounding it. Muron, so it was. I told a joke or cock of a musubu to you, mono de one eye. Imagoro, Gicho Yasho Tachua, Kayo Tio Meta Yu Tokoro da Rome. Ha, Sumanai, Huani Sasset Shimata Yodana. Ma, Makudair Gicho Nadua, Konoyona Joko and Areco da Ro. So any, Dita Sho no Hoa, Nanyara Saku Ario de Ne. サクですかそれはどういういや、詳しい話は私も聞いていないんだが<笑>失礼します。特務支援課、ロイド・バニンクスです。バニンクス、こちらは記者会見が終わった。えい、ちょっと待って。ジュノーたちは36階に引き上げたが、お前たちはどこにあ、あ、はい。34階の休憩室ですか。何かありましたかお前たちと直接話がしてみたいそうだ。Oh. No. Wait, wait, wait. Osborne? And Rocksmith? I know Osborne was like from m e m a f u r I forget who Rocksmith's from. Yeah, we do not have any right to turn them down. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they cannot be within arm's reach of each other. Wait, 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 w a 今のはおいおい、不穏なことを言ってやがらなかったかああ。Lloyd explains to the other that both Chancellor Osborne and President Rocksmith have requested for a private audience with them. へえ。どうやら、冗談ではなさそうですね。いやはや、驚いたな。どうやら思っていた以上に、特務支援課の名前は知れ渡っているようだ。いや、両首脳のスタッフに。それぞれ知り合いがいるんです。それで興味を持たれただけかもしれません。なるほど。そいつはありそうだな。だとしても、断るわけにはいかないわね。ああ。三十六階の。左翼と右翼の。採用の部屋だ。早速訪ねてみよう。了解です。い。イエスさん。はい。we are going to the farthest wings。How many times must I tell you the press isn't allowed past here? It's still an intermission, though, right? Can't you just, you know, look the other way? We promised that we would only take a few photos. They wouldn't even know we're here. That's right. Can't go back to Grace empty handed. Please let us through. Persistent as ever. Good luck trying to tell a reporter where they can and can't go. Well, as long as no one's trying to physically force their way through, they're not breaking any rules. I guess so. This is all part of being a member of the press, right? Either way, we might as well give up any hope using the elevators right now. I guess it's because an event is going to happen once we go up the stairs, right? Alright, wait. Huh? It seems the elevators arrived. How about that? Please, after you. Oh, I couldn't. You go on ahead. I'm quite alright. I promise I'm in no particular hurry. No, no, I insist. You were here first. What's up, Lloyd? Take a look at those two soldiers by the elevator. They appear to try to compromise who rides the elevator first. This, this is kind of painful to watch. Look at them go. Like an awkward couple on the first date of the anniversary festival. We can forego the elevator for now. It'll only spare us ter emotional turmoil. Yeah, good call. What's going on here? <gasps> What is she doing? Is she using her phone? Hello, Angie? Yeah, we're in the middle of an intermission. Oh, that's right. Class seven's at Garrison Fortress right now. Or Garrel. 
Garelia Fortress. Garelia Fortress. I'm a little bit worried about what Imperial Liberation Front is up to, but they should be fine as long as Crow's with them. I'll keep an eye out for on my end, so you guys be sure to do the same. Huh? It's not like any ornament I've ever seen before. Must be co-developed by the foundation of the Rhineford Company. Whatever it is that girl is talking about, she sure seems to be on top of it all. Not just anyone could do that sort of thing. Yeah, it looks like a phone. How is it attached? She's not holding it with her hand. Eh? Looks like we win here now. Is that Arios and Kilika? I believe so. What are they talking about? Nearly a year has gone by since you left the guild. Are you adjusting well to your new job? More or less. Though the workload is so much heavier, it doesn't even begin to compare. So I imagine. And how has Shizuka been? As truthful as ever, though, sometimes I feel as though she's a little bit too accommodating for a child her age. She recently blessed with such a wonderful friend, as well. I've noticed that she smiles a lot more often since then, and that's good to hear. She's already been half a decade. I should unplug this. It's already been half a decade since Sai is passing, hasn't it? Oh, that's the name I saw! In the graveyard! I was like, who's Saya? I don't recognize that name on any of our party members or anyone we know. Ah, so that's what it is. The next thing we have to know is figure out what is that name that just had Ra in it. Not to mention six years since our first passing. That's right. Six years. You were wandering in the continent when you came across Saya and Crossbells by chance. As I remember, as she insisted you stay with our family while you were in town, no matter how much you try to refuse. I imagine, imagine my surprise when I saw you working for the Bracer Guild in Liberal three years later. The goddess works in mysterious ways. You never quite know when threads will end up tying people together. I'll never forget the hospitality, hospitality the two of you showed me back then. My only regret is that I was unable to return the favor to her. There's no need to dwell. The fact that you remember it to this day will be more than enough for Saya. Sounds like those two know each other before they went through the guild. Evidently so. I feel like it would be rude to listen in any further. I agree. You should leave before we interrupt them. My throat! I just realized our party changed. Daisy, come back here! You are supposed to be here. Don't bail out. Alright, let me go back down. I'm pretty sure there's some other hidden stuff I probably could have missed. Oh, there's Osborne. Uh, I don't feel like talking to him. Um. Oh, Dudley's here. How are you and your men faring, Captain Grant? Just fine. Everything's standing on high alert. They're being. They're being used. Ready for an emergency at any any moment. I suppose that they would be. <laughs> I suppose they would be. That's reassuring to hear. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to go over our forces will be deployed for the second half of the conference. All right. Nothing much. But honest work. Wait, is this a an important person? Our forces have been scouring the premises for hours, but we haven't seen a hide or hair of any terrorists. Just where are those low lives be hiding? Hmm. Oh, there's Grace. Hey there, low waiting company. How's security detail going? Peachy? For now, at least. What about you? Did you manage to get a scoop that you were looking for? Oh, you know it. We've been doing pretty well for ourselves so far. Speaking of which, I might end up writing a genuinely positive article for once. All I need to know is some material with a little bit more zing to it. Something like the public will just eat right up. Uh, I'm sure you'll know the, already know this. But please, don't go off sneaking someplace that you're not supposed to. Our jobs are tough as it is. I won't. 
I was going to make Rhines do the- Uh, I mean... Listen, I promise I won't break any rules, okay? See? No fingers crossed or anything. So come on, don't worry about it. I'm more worried than ever now. As am I. I don't think there's anyone else of an importance. So let's go upstairs. Just gotta go two floors up. Oh my gosh, Letcher and Julia! They were classmates! So yeah, uh, Julia inspired uh, Letcher to take school more seriously. なんとか逃げようとしたんだが、半ずかばっちまったよ。何発殴られたと思う？一発も代わりにしがみつかれて泣かれてしまったんじゃないですか？ <笑>ルーシー先輩の気持ちはわかりますから。多分先輩が普段どれだけ危険なことをしているのか気づいたんじゃないかと思います。ええ、女ってのは頭に恐ろしくするどくなるからな。やりにくくて仕方ねえぜ